that we have made to this rebalance in Asia and the Pacific. Hegel said he would have no fewer than 10 bilateral meetings and three trilateral meetings aimed at reinforcing relationships and calming tensions during his two days at the Shangri-La Dialogue. This has been FPP Radio News, online at FPP Radio. Today's most popular video games take place in dangerous post-apocalyptic landscapes. But are these games enough to prepare our kids for the actual post-apocalyptic future we will all soon face? Well, I think these games are quite effective at teaching our kids skills like fighting shotgun ammo and leading elite squads of super soldiers. But these it's aren't the work. advanced skills that they're going to need. They're that going to advanced. need the more practical skills like You're how to find drinking water by collecting the morning dew in human yes, skulls. Or, or how to deal with depression when the sun is blocked out for 500 years by a cloud of radioactive Absolutely. dust. Absolutely. Now, that's the type of knowledge these kids are going to need when their world has been turned into a brutal hellscape. But these kids said that they know how to find items to barter at weapon shops and how to use medicine packs to heal zombie bites. The games make it all seem deceptively simple. I mean, in the future, a kid's not going to be able to kill a six-foot-long irradiated beetle just by pressing a few Absolutely. buttons, and he's well, going to have think... to get down there with an axe and hack and hack but... and hack. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. All you have to do is dial on in toll-free here on this uh, edition of the program. We're here live, and with you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. We may be joined by some other folks as the night goes on. We'd prefer to be joined by you on the phones. Toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN. That's 855-450-3733. We also have Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm, and you may bring up whatever you want. You don't have to talk about what we bring to the table tonight. Daryl, uh, you're going to be telling us in a little bit about racists, conservatives, and lower intelligence. What, if any, is the relationship between the three? We will get to that. But there's some pretty shocking news that came out uh, nationally today that I have to say I was, I was surprised to see this. According to various different sources, this one is MSNBC. Uh, the House has voted to restrict DEA marijuana rates. It had all the markings of a measure that would uh, that no one would no one notice. Strange writing. Uh, an obscure amendment to a low-profile bill receiving a vote after midnight, the same week as a national holiday. It's hardly a recipe for generating national headlines. But the U.S. House of Representatives, nevertheless, did something overnight that Congress has never done. The House passed an amendment late Thursday night to restrict the DEA, uh, DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, from targeting medical marijuana operations in states where it's legal. The 219 to 189 decision came on a bipartisan appropriations amendment spearheaded by California Republican Representative Dana Rohrabacher and California Democrat Sam Farr. The amendment still faces several procedural hurdles before it's ratified, but this is the first time such an amendment has succeeded in the House. The roll call on the vote is available. We'll link to this uh, article here on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can take a close look at that if you care about that sort of thing. Uh, but it did pass largely with Democratic support. The vast majority of Democrats voted for it. A clear majority of Republicans voted against it, but the measure was backed by a bipartisan group of co-sponsors. At issue is a routine spending bill providing federal funding for ver a variety of agencies, including the Justice Department, which occasionally enforces federal drug laws by raiding marijuana facilities in states where medical pot sales are legal. They've been doing this in California ever since California passed its historic Proposition 215. And that was nearly 20 years ago, I believe. Uh, that was 1996. So Okay, 18. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And they've been raiding people's stores ever since, going in, taking people's pot, taking their money, and very rarely, very rarely charging anyone with anything. They did the very same thing here in Keene, New Hampshire, uh, to the local head shop. So they'll do it to anybody they think they can get away with doing it to. They'll just go in and steal all their stuff and don't charge anyone, which makes it that much harder to actually challenge because then you have to bring a case against them. And for people that thought that Barack Obama would somehow be better on the war on drugs than George Bush, 
it should be noted that during Obama's first term, the number of raids by the DEA on medical cannabis dispensaries increased dramatically or drastically. Dramatically. Although dramatic sounds pretty cool. Dramatically, yeah. <laughs> That's dramatically and drastically. Right. <laughs> over what it was when Bush was in office. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you also have not only that, mix that fact with uh, about Obama with the fact that he's come out and spoken uh, sort of in favor of uh, cannabis recently. It was uh, several months ago that he had, I think it was an article in The New Yorker, where he essentially came right out and said that he thought that it was uh, was as bad as alcohol, which is, of course, not true. It's actually much safer than alcohol. Right. But, you know, he was coming down from the government's official line. And, of course, the House wouldn't have to pass any kind of legislation if Barack Obama were to simply wave his executive wand and tell the DEA, thou shalt not do this anymore. Right. So he, he speaks good yeah. on things. Finally. <laughs> he didn't speak good on it. Eight years ago or whatever, six years well, ago. No, when he was running, he was saying similar things. Was he? Yes. Huh. Okay. That's why people thought, oh, you know, like he's going to be a lot better on these issues than George Bush was. Mm. Because he would say things that, you know, sounded as if he wanted to somehow, you know, scale back the war on drugs. Do you remember when he took office? And I don't remember if it was in uh, 2008 or 2012. But one of the years where he took office, they had like this presidential website you could go to and ask a question. And the, the question that got the most asks was supposed to be responded to by Barack Obama. And the question was about cannabis legalization. And Well, they've still got the thing, the petition.whitehouse.gov, yeah. where you can put in a petition and they've increased the number of signatures that a petition now needs in order to you know warrant a response from the white house and a lot of the petitions that are getting large amounts of signatures are just absolutely ludicrous like there was one to deport justin bieber <laughs> and the official white house response was we will not be speaking about deporting justin bieber but here's our immigration policy yeah, I mean, if people think they're going to get some sort of meaningful response from the federal government in one of these little question and answer apps, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Now, in the case of the cannabis question, they basically uh, were told to screw off. I mean, the answer from the White House was, we're not going to change anything. Right. And I mean, I'm paraphrasing that. And then, of course, there was the the epic 2012 version where Texas had over 100,000 signatures right. to, toward asking about secession. And in that case, they gave a meaningful response, basically suggesting that this had been settled with the Civil War and uh, that if you were to secede, we might be violent with you. Right. So um, anyway, it's good news, though, right? Like the New Hampshire, not, not New Hampshire, this, the U.S. House voting with a decent majority i mean the the vote was uh 219 to 189 that's a pretty decent little uh majority voting to make it so the dea cannot raid medical marijuana operations in states where it's legal now again it hasn't passed fully yet it's going to you know there's going to be more politicking that needs to be done but it's a good indicator that maybe the tide is shifting a little bit with the federal government i mean it's it's not worth getting your hopes up for. I don't think that these guys are going to get with it and get you know, leave people alone for smoking cannabis. I mean, if they had any compassion for their fellow man, uh, they would have done this a long time ago. This is obviously a political move to some extent, and what motivated it, I'm not really sure. You know, I'd be interested in hearing more about how this came about, what spurred this on. So, you can share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, German Lopez has reported the, ha the House acted without precedent. It's the first time in history that any chamber of Congress has acted to protect medical marijuana businesses and users. The report makes clear the practical effect of the amendment means the House now believes that if states want to implement their own medical marijuana laws, they shouldn't have to fear interference from the FBI. 
Congress is officially pulling out the war out of the war on medical marijuana patients and providers. Federal tax dollars will no longer be wasted arresting seriously ill med medical marijuana patients and those who provide them, said Dan Riffle, the director of federal policies at the Marijuana Policy Project. In a statement, he continued saying, this is a historic vote, and it's yet another sign that our federal government is shifting toward a more sensible marijuana policy. Now, looking ahead, it's not a, yet a done deal. The same spending bill has not yet been taken up by the Senate. And we don't yet know how the upper chamber will feel about the DEA amendment. And, of course, the measure would also need Barack Obama's signature. And I've got an email here from the Drug Policy Alliance that says that an amendment was also approved that would prohibit the DEA from interfering with state hemp production laws and hemp research programs. That's good news. Yes. Same. The, was it the same amendment or uh, a different amendment? Separate amendment. Okay. According to, or based on the way they have this worded, it leads me to believe that it was a separate amendment. Well, remember, you also have working at the same time Washington D.C. with medical or not medical, not medical, uh, total decriminalization for cannabis, or very, very significant decriminalization. I don't know if "total" is the right word, but they're they're looking at. Pretty, pretty good amounts of decrim for cannabis there, and it's going to go through so long as Congress doesn't interfere to stop it. And so if Congress doesn't interfere to stop it, that could also be a good sign for the whole country as well. More coming up. Share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. You know Lumber Liquidators for having the best selection of flooring at the lowest prices. And right now, you can buy one floor and get 50% off another on their thickest and best dream home laminates. No games, no gimmicks, just huge savings off already ridiculously low prices. Plus, get great deals on pre-finished hardwood and Morningstar bamboo. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special financing is available. But hurry, this buy one, get one sale ends Tuesday, June 3rd. Hi everyone, I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, now well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, Look for the green box at your favorite store. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, May 21st, 2014, gold opened at 1288.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1335.40, 667.70 for a half ounce, or 333.85 for a quarter ounce. That's 1335.40, 667.70, and 333.85. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. If you are like most people, chances are you're malnourished. Most people do not get the 90 essential nutrients the body needs to survive. This lack of nutrition can lead to all sorts of health issues. If you don't feel as good as you'd like, or if you're looking to get a jump start on a new, healthier you, Longevity has your answer. With the Healthy Start Pack, you get all the nutrients your body needs. With all 90 essential nutrients and 115 fruits and vegetables, you get a supplement system that is antioxidant rich and beyond compare. The Healthy Start Pack includes products backed by 40 years of science and millions of dollars in research, like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, EFA Plus 90, and OsteoFX Plus. To order your Healthy Start Pack today, call 607-739-5595. Again, that number is 607-739-5595. Once you start taking the Healthy Start Pack, you will see and feel why our motto is 90 for life. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213 Four nine three zero three zero eight. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. You want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request first, and it'll be easy for you to get on at that point to connect with us on Skype. Whether you want to talk about the war on drugs, the insanity, which, of course, it's mostly a war on marijuana, maybe... Maybe we're starting to see a shift in how the federal government approaches that war with a possible pullback, at least on the front of raiding medical marijuana providers, growers in states where medical marijuana is legal, which is now close to half half of them, I think. I know we were at 20 something like 21, 22, I think it's 23. 21. Yeah, so uh, we're getting there, getting close to half the states with medical cannabis, which is a big deal. Uh, I want to also welcome Bo Davis to the show a little late, but good to have you here, Bo. Welcome. Thank you. Bo, uh, Bo, for uh, longtime listeners, you may remember he is the editor or was the editor of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree, which uh, sort of paved the way for his current project, which is 101 Reasons. And we'll talk more about that here in a moment. In fact, Free Talk Live is brought to you by the Free State Project. It's your best chance to achieve liberty in your lifetime, in my opinion at least, is to get together with other people that think like you do to get active all in the same geographic area and that geographic area was chosen as New Hampshire over 11 uh, excuse me over 15,000 people have currently signed up for the free state project over 1500 are already here in New Hampshire Bo you are one Daryl and myself we're two more there are dozens here in the the Keene area there are hundreds probably in the Manchester area I don't know how many in Concord and the seacoast but around the state over 1500 people are here now as part of the free state project we're all already having a pretty major impact as uh, people inside the state are saying things like free, free staters are the single greatest threat to the state. Uh, that's one state representative from here in Keene. We've got groups that are forming to oppose the Free State Project. There is now the uh, what was called the Our State Project. It has now been renamed to something else. I forget well, what Well, no, it there's the Our State Project and Granite State Progress. No, they've renamed. There's some other... I, I think they've taken the Our State Project thing and rebranded that, but I'm not. I'm spacing out on what it's called. But anyway, there are these groups that have been formed recently. Uh, Stop Free Keen is another one. And to me, this is great news. I mean, it shows how relevant the Free State Project is. Anybody who's ever been involved with Libertarian Party politics, anybody who's ever run a campaign as a Libertarian or helped manage a campaign or worked on a campaign as a Libertarian, you know that no one cares about the libertarians. You can't even get in debates most of the time. You can barely get the newspaper to pay attention to you. Well, the difference is the Free State Project is not a political party. That's not the difference. The, dif there's the difference, what I'm comparing, are two activist groups. Libertarians are historically low impact. They're, they're easy to blow off. They can't hardly make the ballot in most places. When they finally do make the ballot, everything's just dead set against them. It's impossible for them to get a foothold and make any kind of waves whatsoever. Whereas the Free State Project, 
Free Keen, for instance, these are organizations that have really stirred up the pot in the status quo. They've done it through the Republicans, Democrats, and Libertarians. It doesn't. I'm not even talking about political parties here. I'm just talking about a group of activists. Where I come from, the Libertarians were the only liberty group of activists. In New Hampshire, there's the Libertarians, there's the liberty-minded people that are in the Republican Party, there's the liberty-minded people in the Democratic Party, there's the non-party affiliated, the agorists, the people that are working outside the system. There's just so much much more happening here than Libertarian Party politics. And as a result of all of these different fronts of activism, there are people who are very, very upset about our existence. And to me, that's a ringing endorsement for the Free State Project that with only a fraction of the eventual 20,000 hopeful movers that we'll have, with only a fraction of them here, we're already being called the single greatest threat to the state. So do you want to be a part of a movement like that? I think it's very exciting. And, Bo, I know you think so. That's why you've signed on as one of the producers and editor of this new 101 Reasons film. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I'm i really excited. I, I think this is actually going to be – this film, I believe, is going to be one of the reasons why um, – we reached the goal earlier than than many people are expecting, I think. I really think that we're going to reach the goal within the next two years. That is the goal of 20,000 Free State Project participants. That's correct, yes. Yeah, and I hope that the 101 Reasons film can help uh, really kick that into gear because there's so much happening here in New Hampshire, and you guys are going to be focusing on just a fraction of that, uh, of what's currently oh, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah, it is just a fraction. I mean, the, really, I mean, what, the biggest the biggest thing that people talk about here is the community. You know, when it, when I go around and I interview people about, you know, what was the, what was the reason... Uh, that made you stay when you came to visit New Hampshire? Mm -hmm. You know, what's the reason you made this your home? And everybody comes up saying, you know, mainly the community, but the community is is made up of individuals and especially individualists, you know, people who take pride in being themselves, being self-owners and entrepreneurs in most cases. You know, so like um, really the, the entrepreneurs especially, uh, people doing and making things. You look and, at uh, AgriCab out in Manchester, for instance. Uh, a, yeah. a relatively new mover. I think he's only been here about a year. Uh, who has really taken off? He he's he's started to uh, create a business for himself that's yeah. very very successful, taking people just within the community, mm -hmm. uh, taking people from point A to point B. And uh, and of course, the larger the community becomes, the more agorist sort of underground uh money making opportunities that there are and it's interesting though i mean there wasn't much of a community here uh eight years ago when i made the move i mean yeah there was but it was much smaller you know there were only a couple hundred people that that had moved here by that time i think i was like in the first 200 people that uh, that made the move. Well, it's certainly grown, and I'm, I'm sure Free Talk Live's had a huge impact on that. Oh, definitely. A lot of people cite Free Talk Live as their reason for, for making the move. But I just... Uh I think it's exciting. It's really great to see so many people here, and it's and you're right. The community is a huge attractor. Now that we have it, we didn't have it before. It used to be the Free State Project was an idea, right? Like the at first, it was an idea online, and people thought, "Oh, this is a cool idea. Let's get liberty lovers together." They did that, and then this community started to build, and all this activism was happening. And this is no longer an idea. This is a real thing. It's yeah. actually happening. It's here now. You don't have to wait until twenty thousand. And when you go Go to 101reasonsfilm.com. Yep. That's where you can link over to y'all's YouTube channel, where yep. you guys are putting up more than just a trailer or a teaser or something. You guys are putting up chunks of video, like five-minute blocks, of kind of focusing on different topics, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be uh, producing some shorter ones, some some real like small bites that people can just like say, oh, you know, I, I want to find out what's going on in... Uh, um, healthcare in New Hampshire or something mm -hmm. like that. And we'll have like a little, I'm going to shoot for like two or three minutes, actually something that people can, you know, consume quickly. Now, what was um, the, one of the more recent ones you'd put out? Uh, well, there's the, the pork fest, uh, video, um, pork yeah. fest in five minutes. That was really good. Thank you. Um, there's the, uh, uh, why you should move to New Hampshire. And then of course there's some, uh, some of our previous ones from our Indiegogo, uh, crowdfunding campaign, by the way, I know that I hear the music, but Thank you guys so much for donating. Uh, all the you know the Liberty community out there that donated, really appreciate it. 101 reasonsfilmcom We'll continue. Bo's going to hang out here with us for a few. Ellen should be joining us later on tonight. Your calls are certainly welcome. 855-450-FREE. There's a lot that we can do when we get 
liberty activists together. Check out freestateproject.org and porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. We're coming up here on Free Talk Live. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud, my magic mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills? Look and feel super with a great tasting liquid vitamin and mineral supplement called Passion for Life. This incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster, more complete absorption. Passion for Life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients. It's the best tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844 Try Life or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 844trylife.com. 844trylife.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp freetalklive.com While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We invite you to bring up whatever's on your mind. Toll free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Are things finally starting to change on the federal government level about enforcement of cannabis laws? It sounds like they might just be doing that with the House voting uh, with a fair margin. 
to prohibit the DEA from raiding any medical marijuana providers or growers' facilities in states where medical cannabis is legal. So that's a good sign, and there have been a, some other good signs as well. In fact, one of them was uh, Eric Holder, the attorney general, rebuking the head of the DEA for some of the statements that she had made after Barack Obama had sort of changed his tune about cannabis. The DEA head had come out and made just kind of the your typical drug warrior statements about cannabis, you know, the, the standard lies that they like to trot out. And she actually got chewed out a little bit for doing that. But again, that, Eric Holder, who has the authority to move cannabis off of Schedule 1, yeah. did not do so. Correct. So there's this weird political game going on where on one hand these politicians are trying to make it look like they're more compassionate on this issue it seems but on the other hand doing as bare minimum of whatever they can do to actually affect any kind of change in that way right so it's very very strange and, you know situation. there's the lie that well term limits are good because whenever the person's in their final term they'll do what they really want and not have to worry about you know, getting reelected. So I, I'm sure some people were thinking, you know, let's reelect Barack Obama and then he'll he'll finally end all of the wars and <laughs> get rid of the drug war and stop the, you know, enforcement of uh, cannabis laws and all of these other things that people said that he was going to do. And of course, he's not doing any of them. Let's go to the phones here. Ty is on the lines in Tennessee. Ty, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey, Ty. Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, there has been some real good discussions, I think, interesting discussions about uh, higher levels of consciousness and uh, awareness, some kind of new agey type stuff, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I think that the discussion is very interesting. I think it's also very important uh, from a liberty context because you can't really be – uh, truly, completely free if you're not mentally free. It's true. Uh, so, so aligning your consciousness with reality and uh, understanding what's going on, I think, is very important. Um, there were a, a couple of points. I think it was Lot and uh, Uncle Fudd brought up last night. Uh, there were some things that I agreed with and, and some of the things I disagreed with, but I think one of the most important things that was brought up is that there are two perspectives on consciousness and which side of this uh, debate you're on determines what kind of a human being you're actually going to be. Now, when you say because, there are two perspectives on consciousness, what do you mean? What I mean is uh, you have to answer the question, is consciousness an accidental byproduct of material existence or is material existence a purposeful product of consciousness? What do you think, Ty? I, th I think the latter. I think that material existence exists as a purposeful product of consciousness. I tend to agree with that. No. Oh, uh, well, I'd, yeah, I guess, I mean, from a holographic universe sort of standpoint, yeah, yeah that does kind of uh, make sense, yeah. What do you think, Daryl? Consciousness. I don't know. I've not really thought about it. You can't really know, right? Like, you just... Right, you have can't know. And there there's some people that will say that a human's not a human until like their sixth birthday because they have no memory of anything that happens, therefore they're not conscious. That's ridiculous. I hardly remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm <laughs> conscious. So like the the whole consciousness debate, if you want to call it a debate, it's just not anything that I'm personally interested in being a part of. Mm, okay. Fair well, enough. Well here's here's why I think it's important. Because which which perspective you hold uh, determines whether you're going to be merely or only human or if you have the potential to become fully human. Because if your consciousness is an accidental byproduct of being alive, then your existence really has no meaning or purpose. It's kind of like a drone it. sort of existence. Yeah, <laughs> you're just... You're just a, some sort of a cosmic accident. Yeah. So you're only human. I, I, I hate that term, you know. Mm. Oh, I'm just, you know, these people are only human or I'm only human. I prefer the idea of transhumanism in a different respect, not, not the idea of robot bodies and, and enhancements, but the idea of actually going to a higher level of being and becoming fully human. And I think that that comes when 
we are able to uh, unify our threefold consciousness because consciousness is not just a mental thing. It's a, it's a mind, spirit, and body thing. You know, the mind uh, is the thoughts and the logic. The spirit is the emotion, the, uh, the, the heart, if you will. And the body is the way that we interact with the objective world. And if these things, if all three things are in line, then we are a unified consciousness and we become fully human. But it's, it may sound easy, but it's actually a very difficult thing because, you know, troubled people either have, uh, they're, they're troubled in spirit or they're, or mm -hmm. they're, they're uh, frustrated uh, physically. And this causes problems. You know, they, they have their consciousness interrupted, if you will. So the, this idea of becoming fully human, like I said, is the, the way of, of aligning all three parts of being human into a unified consciousness. Yeah. Does that make any sense? No, it does make sense to me, but I'm sort of familiar with some of these new age uh, terminology. Like some would describe that as uh, aligning with the source uh, that uh, that you can disconnect yourself from that source, and uh, and then you are not so with it. You know, you may not be as compassionate toward others, and uh, so that's what I hear you sort of rephrasing. And uh, I'm I'm on board with those ideas. Yeah, I don't really consider it new age as much as because you can me, label lot, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the a lot of the new age is is more like wishful thinking, if you ask me. You know, the idea of like the secret, the the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. I believe there is a law of attraction, but it's totally different than this idea of if, if I think positive Having thoughts, things. positive mm -hmm. things will happen to me. What it is is that if you think, uh, if you think properly and you uh, eliminate falseness, you know, if you're logical, then that leads to uh, more healthy feelings, and these the thoughts with feelings lead to certain actions, and those actions have a cause and effect, ripple effect in reality and bring opportunities to you. So somebody who has a consciousness that's fully aligned, that uh, is a unified consciousness, sees more opportunity than most people. Mm. So, you know, good things happen. The, the universe, if you will, will provide, but it doesn't just automatically give things to you. You know, I don't think it's a personified thing. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that the the secret is this sort of entry level idea about the law of attraction, the idea that you if you think hard enough, you can make a Ferrari appear in your driveway. And I think that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But I think there is evidence uh, at least in my life about how um, you know, being positive or vibrating at a higher level, as Lot might say, as he was talking about vibration last night, uh, focusing on good things, focusing on appreciation can bring more of those things to you. I mean, sort of the law of attraction, as I've heard it described, is that which uh, that which is like unto itself is drawn, right? So if you're vibrating at a certain positive frequency, you're more likely to bring people like that into your life and positive experiences into your life and more opportunities, as you would put it, Ty. Right, well, you're more in tune with with what's happening. You're more aware of opportunities. Well, you know, I, I think this is a lot like you, you had mentioned that it's very important for uh, people, liberty-minded people especially, you know, if you're wanting to uh, be a free person, you would want to um, kind of study this sort of thing. You know, and I, I agree with you in, in, in one way because... Well, the reputation system, you know, that we all kind of deal with as libertarians that we, we use, you know, to uh, to make sure people are reputable, we, it's, uh, well... The pressure, is, the pressure is on. Stand by. Yeah, we'll come sorry back about here that. <laughs> uh, in moments. And Ty, you can hang on. We'll continue the discussion here. Your thoughts certainly welcome. Uh, 855-450, free, the nature of consciousness and what it means to be truly human. It's Free Talk Live. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. 
What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit LibertyOnTheRocks.org today to get started. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit Promote.LRN.FM for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want and share your thoughts on the nature of existence. Apparently, that's where the conversation has gone here tonight. We can also go back to uh, more, I guess, less esoteric matters on the way. Daryl is going to talk to us about racist conservatives and lower intelligence people. They may not all be one and the same. Uh, I'm not sure where what the thrust is that you're going to share with us, uh, Daryl, but we'll find out more here in a little bit. Also, Bitcoins are big news. In fact, they've just today, I think, cracked back over $600 per mm-hmm. Bitcoin, Woo! which is very exciting. Uh, if you have not yet taken the time to get some Bitcoins, or perhaps you need some more Bitcoins, you can go to cashintocoins.com. You can get them there. Very low rates. In fact, zero rates. If you order less than $40 worth, there's no transfer fee if you order less than $40 worth of Bitcoins through cashintocoins.com. Uh, the instructions are clear. It's easy, safe, fast, legal, inexpensive, and their customer service is top priority. You can use a money order, check, or wire transfer. Go to cashintocoins.com. 
and get your Bitcoins now. That's cash into coins.com. You never know what Bitcoin's going to do. I mean, tomorrow it could be $1,000 or it could be zero. Uh, so, you know, there's some risk involved. So I wouldn't recommend putting all your eggs in the Bitcoin basket. But if you are looking to, uh, to get into a very exciting new world of currency, I think Bitcoin is where it's at. You may have heard the announcement this week that Dish Network, which is one of the biggest companies out there, it's going to be accepting Bitcoin coming up later on this year. They've officially announced that in partnership with Coinbase. So very exciting stuff there. Uh, we've got Ty on the line in Tennessee. Ty has been talking about what he describes as being fully human versus being merely human. The idea of consciousness being something that existed prior to matter, uh, that consciousness begets matter, so to speak. And that uh, people, you and I, uh, we can align better with this sort of universal consciousness. And the, the more we can do that, the more human we are, the more compassionate. And we're just sort of talking about these things. And Bo, you were trying to make a point about reputation in the community, and we kind of had to go to the break. Yeah, and I, I got a little flustered there with the music. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... You're what a I, video editor, not a, a radio. Right, I like uh, to stay behind person. the camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Uh, my my the point I was trying to get to actually was that uh, as libertarians we rely heavily on on reputation systems and and reputation in general uh, to you know know you know like what type of people we're dealing with and everything and mm -hmm. um, so if you're what uh, Ty you had mentioned um, you know the law of attraction and and I kind of see the law of attraction as well. I, I can do good things and I can put out, you know, my thoughts end up resulting in most of a lot of, well, a lot of the times in action and my actions, you know, resonate with what's going on in the world. And, and the people that I interact with, if I, you know, if I happen to resonate with them positively, it's likely that it's going to come back uh, to me positively. And so it's right, right. You know, it's it's very. I mean, like whether I I look at it scientifically or not, you know, I I can it it makes sense to me that you know it, the more good you do, the better is going to come around to you. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, and it's wrong. not always direct. So I looking at it not scientifically is a very difficult thing to do. However, I firmly believe that uh, being positive and the law of attraction has really done good things in general in my life. I'm glad you mentioned scientifically. Mm -hmm. Because I've had this idea for sort of a psychological experiment to where you get people who either self-identify as optimist or self-identify as pessimist or people that don't really know. And you tell them that there's going to be some sort of experiment, but first there's going to be like a group outing where everybody goes to a restaurant. And you get some kind of thing set up with the restaurant to where randomly people that are either self-identified as optimist or self-identified as pessimist will have the wrong food delivered to them. On purpose. On purpose. So that you can then measure their response. Mm -hmm. And then after the waitress apologizes and then brings them whatever they originally wanted, the waitress will say, since there was a mistake the mill is on the house and then do sort of a follow-up to get their overall uh, perception of the mill. And what I'm hypothesizing here is that the people who self-identify as optimist will say, Oh, it was great. I wound up with a free mill. Mm-hmm. The people who self-identify as pessimist will tell you it's horrible because they got the wrong food brought to them and then Terrible they had to complain service. and this and right. that. Even though Perspective means everything. Right. Yeah. Perspective means everything. And I, I would also like to see some kind of brain scan done mm. on the people that self-identify as optimist and people that self-identify as pessimist to see if the brain fires differently. Well, Tiny I wanted to enough. kind of, I wanted to kind of get back to the idea of what uh, Lot brought up, and uh, was it Uncle Fudd? Yeah. Yesterday they were talking this the higher vibrations idea, and you know, higher vibrations is is sort of a nebulous idea. It there's you know they didn't really define it. I think you tried to put uh, Uncle Fudd, you know, put the pressure on Uncle Fudd to come up with something, and he came up with 
very materialistic ideas, you know, of drink pure water and yeah. eat, eat good food and whatnot. Now, I have an idea of what frequency of consciousness really is and how it can be represented. Okay, if you imagine objective reality as a solid straight line on a graph, okay? Now, do we all agree that there is such a thing as objective reality? Uh, no. You don't believe that there is such a thing as objective reality? I don't know what my cohorts here think, but uh, I, I believe I don't think that you can prove some you're people, even here. Some people think that there's objective reality. Some people think that reality is subjective. I don't really know, so I don't really have a thought. What do you think, Bo? Objective reality? Well, I as uh, Daryl mentioned, I mean, like, there's... It, it it all comes down to different perspectives because, I mean, like, I either create my own reality or I'm a product of it. There are observations. Some, some others. You can mm -hmm. make observations about what appears to be reality, but really you don't know if you're part of a computer program. So, I mean, maybe there's some objective reality beyond the computer program or something like that, but... You know, what we have in front of us, we can't really be certain is even there. But then it, there would have to be a programmer behind that. They're objective, correct? Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I can't oh, really tell you well, for sure. Something has to be objective somewhere. But anyway, if we just for the sake of argument, let's, say, that there is, <laughs> let's, let's say there is an objective reality and it's just a straight line on a graph, like okay. on an XY coordinate thing, you know, just a horizontal line. Now... Your thoughts, feelings, and actions, that's what I'm considering to be this unified consciousness or just consciousness in general, your thoughts, feelings, and actions. The more frequently your uh, thoughts, feelings, and actions cross that line, the more frequently that happens, the, uh, that's, that's operating in a higher frequency level of consciousness. You're more aligned with objective reality that way. Um, I don't know if I'm really getting to give it a good description of this no, or I mean, not. I mean, get, I get where you're coming from. Again, some would describe it as uh, the source consciousness and then aligning with that. And one of the ways to do it, I think, is meditation. I mean, that's one of the yeah. classic ways of, uh, of raising one's vibration, focusing on things like love and peace and forgiveness and understanding and compassion. These are positive vibrations that are good things to manifest within yourself so that if you manifest them within yourself enough, they hopefully will manifest outside of you. And sort of like has been said in the past, I think Gandhi's attributed to this quote, but whether he said it or not, I don't know. Uh, you know, the idea that you have to be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want to be, you know, if you want to see peace, you have to be peace. You have to exude peace. You have to have that and understand it and uh, and embody it as much as possible inside of you before you'll see it on the outside. I, You know, I also think it's really important to, you know, when you do these meditations too, for instance, you know, if you're going to focus on, on a specific thing, you know, a specific mindset, um, it's, it's good to do that when you feel you need to, but I also think it's really, really important, uh, to just still the mind, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, try not to think try to have some silence in your mind. Like oh my everybody, God. That's, the, that's the worst part about meditation. It's so challenging. I mean, it's, it's wonderful when you can do it. Well, it's it is, just takes practice. It's being mindful. <laughs> Having an empty mind is really considered being mindful. It's true. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's true. That allows you to be more conscious of what's going on. Now, would you agree, though? Well, then, right, because you're focused in the now. When you, right. when you can quiet the mind, you are focused in the now, which is where your life is, right? Like all of the ideas and the thoughts and the memories and the, you know, the, the fantasizing, all of that is happening in your mind. That's not real. That's, that's not here and now. Ty, good conversation tonight, man. Thanks for sharing it tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I think it's comforting to believe there's an objective reality, but I don't know how you could prove that there is. That's the problem. <laughs> you also can't prove that there isn't. 855-450-FREE. <laughs> That's 855-450-3733. Nor can you prove that there is not a Santa Claus. It's Free Talk Live. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. 
This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at LibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, May 30th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,253. Silver opened at $19. And Bitcoin is trading at $611.98. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from affordable sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online at affordablesound.com or call them up 512-459-5253. Support also comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours, voiceandexit.com. In the news, an investigation by Forensics Architecture a research project based at London's Goldsmiths University and New York-based C2 Research revealed that most drone attacks carried out by the CIA in Pakistan target private homes. The drone strikes usually occur in the middle of the night when families are home and asleep. The research showed 61% of drone strikes in Pakistan target domestic buildings, and more than 132 houses have been destroyed in at least 380 strikes. Out of the 1,500 killed, more than 200 were innocent civilians. A report by The Guardian reveals the NSA struggled to meet the demands of an unprecedented number of FOIA requests following documents released by Edward Snowden. Top officials reportedly discussed ways to fend off journalists, advocacy groups, and individuals who bombarded the agency with over 5,000 Freedom of Information Act requests between June 5th through June 12th of last year. The agency only received 800 such requests during the same period the previous year. And the 62nd Bilderberg meeting is set to take place from May 29th through June 1st in Copenhagen, Denmark. Bilderberg's press release detailed this year's official talking points, which include privacy, intelligence sharing, China's political and economic outlook, and other current events. In attendance will be 140 participants from 22 countries who maintain high-level positions in finance, academia, and media, along with a diverse group of politicians and experts from various industries. The group has fallen under scrutiny, though, due to the secrecy that surrounds the annual closed-door meeting. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online, rrbi.co, or by phone, 800-874-9760. This is The Liberty Beat. For Friday, May 30th, 2014, check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Another milestone for the era of cryptocurrency, as Dish decides to accept Bitcoin for payment. 
In a press release issued by the pay TV provider Thursday, Dish Executive Vice President and CFO Bernie Han says the decision was made as a way to deliver choice and convenience to the company's customers. According to Dish, the move makes them the largest company to accept Bitcoin payments. Coinbase was selected as the payment processor for the Bitcoin transactions, with customers choosing the cryptocurrency for online payments able to use the Bitcoin wallet of their choice. On Wednesday, activists and Ecuadorian indigenous community members held a protest outside the Permian Basin Petroleum Museum in Midland, Texas, demanding that oil giant Chevron take responsibility for damage done to the Ecuadorian Amazon rainforest. Activists condemn Chevron for refusing to pay for pollution left behind by Texaco, whom Chevron bought in 2001. Texaco was found guilty and fined nearly $19 billion by an Ecuadorian court. However, Chevron has refused to pay and countersued the Ecuadorian communities, accusing them of defrauding the court. Hundreds of undocumented immigrants from Central America were flown from South Texas to Arizona and released at bus stations in Tucson and Phoenix this week. A spokesman for the Border Patrol in Tucson confirmed the 400 migrants were apprehended in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas and flown to Arizona due to the lack of manpower needed to handle such a surge of illegal immigrants in South Texas. The move has drawn criticism from both sides of the immigration issue, with some saying the release encourages more migrants to cross over the border illegally. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, home of one of the first Bitcoin ATMs in the country where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Visit the ATM at 321 West Ben White Boulevard for 203. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online at CaboBobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 30th, 2014. A new report from the Department of Health and Human Services urges Americans to do something, anything at all. According to the study, getting off your ass and doing any sort of physical or mental activity could have positive health effects. Look, we're not expecting you to go to the gym. That's clearly not happening. Just walk outside for a few blocks and then come back home. You can bring potato chips if that's what it'll take. For many years, the health department has encouraged Americans to watch less TV. But this report reverses that, saying, quote, watch whatever the hell you want, but at least pay attention and remember who the characters are, or just admire the colors. Colors are pretty. It's expected that following the advice in this report will cut down on the largest cause of death among Americans, laying on your back until your mouth fills up with saliva and you drown. Following the report's release, the most popular exercise now seems to be masturbating, but researchers warned that if you do it in public, stick to the sidewalk or you might get hit by cars. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, launching into the second hour of the program. You can take control of the airwaves. Racists, conservatives, and lower intelligence people. How do the three tie in together or not at all? We'll find out here in a moment. Daryl has the story. Also, you can join us on the air here to bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. We ended up going off into the esoteric realm of things like law of attraction, uh, although these things shouldn't be esoteric, more people should learn about this stuff, and, and I guess that's why they call it the secret, because only certain people supposedly know about these things and uh, and put them into use, raising one's vibration, aligning with source, or as Ty was describing it, becoming truly human, or fully human, I guess. So you can uh, comment on those things, or cannabis. We had the news about in the uh, the U.S. House, them voting with a fairly decent margin to order the DEA to stop doing um, raids on medical marijuana clinics, growers, operators in the states in which medical cannabis is legal. That's moving forward. It's not a done deal yet, but they're uh, they're working on that. So lots of stuff to talk about here tonight. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves and bring up anything. With you in the studio this evening, it's Ian here. Bo. And Daryl. Bo Davis is joining us from the 101 Reasons Film. 101ReasonsFilm.com is the website. Some great teaser videos up there. Give you a taste of what the the final product is going to be like. It's going to be a a feature-length documentary film that focuses on why New Hampshire is such a great destination for people who love freedom. 
right, yeah, Bo? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and it's going to be released. Uh, we are shooting for uh, November of this year. Oh, that's very exciting. Yeah. And I presume you guys are going to be at the Porcupine Freedom Festival with cameras in tow? Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll be filming there. Uh, and we'll be setting up for interviews, hoping to get you know speakers and new movers and, and, and the likes. Are you looking mm-hmm. to talk to prospective movers as well, people who are considering a move? Um, I would like to do a segment like that. Mm-hmm. I would like to have actually a pre-release video put out. Because um, it's always interesting to talk to the people who are like the new first-timers at Porkfest. Yeah. I can't even imagine what that's like, right? Because I moved here in 2006 as part of the Free State Project. For those who don't know what that is, it's 20,000 liberty-loving people all coming to New Hampshire together and getting active and we're still in the process of getting to that 20,000 number but anyway when i moved there were only like 100 some people that had moved and i didn't go to pork fest before i moved so i moved went to pork fest after i had made the move i had been here for almost a whole year before i was able to attend my first porcupine freedom festival because i moved in labor day of 2006 and pork fest is in june uh, every year so it wasn't until june of 2007 and Porkfest was a lot smaller of an event back then. I mean, it was still an awesome event and it was a really good time, but it's not, it was nothing then like what it is now. And it's just, it's really hard to fathom how mind-bogglingly amazing it must be to come to Porkfest, the Porcupine Freedom Festival, this awesome summertime camping festival that the Free State Project puts on every year, to come into that and experience it for the first time in its full 2014 form. That's oh, going to yeah. be an amazing experience for people. Oh, yeah. Actually, my, my first Pork Fest uh, was 2011, mm-hmm. and I, I actually I shot a uh, video called uh, – that I it's on YouTube called uh, uh, Pork Fest First Timers mm. um, on the uh, Liberty on Tour channel. And, and that was actually – it was pretty fun because it was my first Pork Fest too, you know, and I'm going around asking – you know, I'm search, seeking out all these first timers and – and everybody had wonderful things to say, you know. It was a, it's a family fun, uh, a family friendly event, you know, and uh, all thing, all kinds of things to do. Yeah, that's what I would you know? do. I, I would re uh, review that, you know. I think I should. That. Yeah, yeah. Do another one, basically. Absolutely. So very cool. Come check out the 101 Reasons film. Come be a part of it at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And in the meantime, you're traveling around New Hampshire. Yep. Uh, you're going to different locales. I know you've spent some time in, was it I, Manchester recently or the Seacoast? Yeah, I just got back from Manchester uh, yesterday, actually. So uh, Cool. What stuff did you uh, check out while you were there? Oh, uh, well, I was on the uh, the Rebel Love show. Um, oh, great. And uh, as well as the True Objectivist podcast. Um, I, I went to Concord and I interviewed Eileen Landys of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. She's a real activist. I mean, that's an amazing organization, the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, something that free staters and New Hampshire natives formed together uh, to actually review all of the legislation. They actually read every piece of legislation that comes out uh, every year, and then they uh, they make recommendations on if you love freedom, how do you vote on this legislation? And they, they put out recommendations to all of the state representatives like, okay, yeah, you get your recommendations from the Republicans or the Democrats, but here's the recommendations if you actually care about freedom. Right. And uh, beyond that, they actually rate all of the state reps every year. They, they rate them on key issues based on how they voted on certain legislation that would have affected that and they give them a grade between a and f and then the below f there's constitutional threat uh but it's just an amazing group of debt i mean the, the amount of dedication you have to have to actually sit and read through all of that legislation well, even when you have dozens of volunteers it's not tremendous. everybody yeah. reads every piece of legislation not everyone in the organization they divvy right. it up between the you know however many volunteers they have but still there's a lot of legislation right and there's a, there's... i i just want to make it clear that you know if somebody decides they want to volunteer for the nhla they're that not going to say you have to read all 700 bills that were introduced no, no it's not like that in fact if you volunteer then everyone has to read fewer bills right uh or read less pages so um, it's awesome. And that's just one organization that is active here in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so you're shooting, you're busy, 101reasonsfilm.com. Check that out. And both, thanks for coming on Free Talk Live here tonight. Hey, thank you. Yeah, always appreciate having you on. And I'm sure we'll be kept up to date by you and or uh, the other producers, of which I am actually one of the, uh, the producers of the film. Honored to be a part of this. I think it's very exciting. And we'll keep you in the loop as it develops, as more new videos are putting uh, are being put out. We'll share them on the Free Talk Live Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter as we've been doing. So, very right. cool. Let's go to Lot. He's in Michigan City listening to WIMS. Hello, Lot. Namaste, brothers. How is everyone today? 
Hey, Lot, doing great. Yeah. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, what I want to say was is in regards with uh, Ty, love you. Um, Uncle Fudd, love you as well. Um, just wanted to say that uh, he made a really good point, and and it's not just thought; it's being, and it's being regardless of whatever it is, and whatever what it is is our perspective of whether it's a good event or a bad event or a moment or uh, a day, a month, year, week, whatever time. It's looking at the time. It's looking at the event as that it is, not associating yourself to it and being above it. Well, that's kind of a a Buddhist, uh, sort of a a Buddhist perspective, right? Like just sort of encountering life and understanding that uh, life is going to involve pain sometimes, but not getting attached to things. So therefore uh, you won't experience as much suffering when those things are taken away, trying to, you know, not be detached. You could still be involved in life, but at the same time, let the moment pass, I guess you could say. Yes, and it's not necessarily a Buddhist. I mean, it might have been worded that way, but I've done, um, I've gone through, you know, all the different types of religions and spiritualities, and I've kind of got into them, kind of see what the information that they're trying to provide you, in in the sense mm-hmm. of trying to guide you. Um, there. It's all pretty much talking about the same thing. A lot of it is. A lot of it's very, very similar. There are a lot of themes between different world religions that they share. And, of course, you know, people that hold on to certain religions seem to believe that theirs is the only true way. And it seems to me that there are different ways. Yeah, it's a combination. It's really ultimately, our life is subjectively objective. We have an objective, but we live it subjectively. By what we choose, we choose to see things the way we want to see it, whether we believe is right or wrong. Now, regardless of any religion, when they ask the individual in which they are obtaining this information, and this is also a question towards you, Ian, if you don't mind, could you answer the question, I am, with one word, and truly be, and, and express truly who you are as an individual? In word. Boy, that's an interesting question to uh, to fill I, in after I am with one word and to be able to express who you truly are as an uh, individual. Thank you, Lot. Hyphenated yeah. words are still one that's word. That's true. <laughs> Thanks. So I could do like an entire paragraph and just hyphenate <laughs> everything together. Thanks for the call, Lot. Um, uh, I, I like the idea that I'm a part of the universe, that I am an extension That's more of than all one word. Is. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. We'll come back with more. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I'm universal? How about that? <laughs> it's Free Talk Live. No. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government. Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2234. 
837 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Following today's press conference in which NASA announced its continuing search for a planet capable of supporting NASA, researcher Dr. Kenneth Heiser sat down with Onion reporters to detail their ongoing mission to find a NASA habitable planet. Our objective is to find a planet capable of nurturing not just life, but also a sustained interest in the exploration of the cosmos. Uh, such a planet would need to have water and proximity to light and heat, but also life forms with even the vaguest understanding of the importance of astronomical exploration. Ultimately, this would need to be a planet with organisms that have a genuine interest in expanding the limits of their knowledge. Heiser added that any planet capable of supporting NASA would need to be able to generate a steady stream of financing to meet the agency's $18 billion annual budget. The important thing is we just need to be patient. There's a limitless number of planets in the universe and eventually we'll find one with the resources to support our work. We just have to, right? This is the Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just head over to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. Uh, once again, freetalklive.com. We're changing things up in our third seat for tonight. We had Bo Davis on earlier, the producer and uh, main editor of the 101 Reasons film. We now have Ellen joining us, who is our normal Friday night co-host. Welcome, Ellen. Yes, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Always good to have you here on Free Talk Live. You are one of the hosts of ALP. We can talk more about that later on tonight. Of course, Daryl still here with me. Yes. Uh, so we can go on and talk about whatever happens to be on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And don't forget uh, about blockchain.info. If you have not yet gotten your Bitcoin wallet, I just actually got a new phone, so I had to install the blockchain app on there, which is no problem because your Bitcoins aren't stored on your phone. The Bitcoins are on the Bitcoin network. So it doesn't matter if your phone falls into, uh, you know, the toilet or something like that. Your your bitcoins will be fine. Your phone, you're probably getting a new phone, but your bitcoins will survive the process if you have the blockchain wallet, because blockchain doesn't store uh, your wallet on your device. They've encrypted your wallet on their servers. They don't even have access to the bitcoins in your wallet, and that would mean that the NSA, the FBI, they also do not have access. Go to blockchain.info to get your own personal Bitcoin wallet. And if you're a merchant, you've got a physical location where you want to be able to re uh, receive Bitcoins from your customers in real life, then you need the blockchain.com app. It's a brand new app that they put out. Blockchain.com is where you go to get the merchant app. There's no terms of service, no ID requirements, and no fees. Blockchain.com. Go grab the app for your favorite Android-based device today. Daryl, let's change gears here and talk about the story you had brought in tonight. Uh, this is about conservatives. This is about, uh, is it bigots? Racists. Racists and people of lower intelligence. Yes. Tell me about it. And where's so, it coming from? 
The story here comes from Psychology Today. Good source. I like their stuff. And it's actually about a year old, but it came into my Facebook feed a few days ago. So it's new to you. So it's new to me. So I, I have to sort of, you know, go back in time a little bit at the beginning of this story here. The author of the story writes, This morning, I logged on to Facebook. I came upon this image, and she includes a picture in the article here. That It's a picture of one of the Sarnayev brothers. One of the alleged bombers. The alleged bomber of the Boston Marathon. And next to his photo, it says, Became an American on September 11th, 2012. Yeah, Let's pass that immigration bill. <laughs> so this is supposed to be anti-immigration propaganda? Right. This this photo that she came across. And then up under that, it says, yeah, about that. And it's got pictures of other mass murder people that are all Americans that killed Americans. And mm -hmm. she like says... Timothy McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh and uh, the the guy from... Uh, Arizona, Joseph Lautner. And, oh, yeah, the guy that shot the Congress lady. Right. Uh, and they actually think that the Congress lady was just sort of a, uh innocent bystander that happened to get shot by a really? bullet because the judge was the first person to get hit by a bullet and was the first person to die. There was a judge who was shot there? Yes. Wow. That but that got was a, overlooked yeah, I was because say he got a congresswoman was there and got hit by wow. like the second or third bullet. It makes you wonder if there's anybody else that was killed that was just overlooked. I don't know. There, there were several other people that were hit. I don't remember if anybody else was killed. Okay, but mm. they're not nearly as important as this congresswoman. Right, right. So it says that this image was shared by a group called Too Informed to Vote Republican. So she began wondering about this and recalled an old journal article that she came across when studying anti-Islamic attitudes post 9-11. And I pick up in the second paragraph here. It says the paper referenced a correlation between conservatism and low intelligence. Uncertain of its origins, I located a thought-provoking article published in one of psychology's top journals, Psychological Science, which in essence confirms this. She says that Hodson and Busseri, she doesn't give a first name for the people that did the study. Mm -hmm. Hodson and Busseri found in a correlation study that lower intelligence in childhood is predicative of greater racism in adulthood, with this effect being mediated, partially explained through conservative ideology. They also found... Poor abstract reasoning skills were related to homophobic attitudes, hmm. which was mediated through authoritarianism and low levels of intergroup contact. So so people not so bright are more likely to be conservative and more likely to be bigoted, is what you're saying. Uh, that's what According the to study, psychology today. That, that, that's what the study is saying. See, I could understand how ignorance is related to bigotry, but at the same time, how does that correspond with uh, conservatism? Well, but well, not ignorance. We're not talking about ignorance, right? We're talking about you're talking about low intelligence levels, about right. stupidity. Okay, right, and the incurable disease. Yes. Well, the the word conservative means someone who supports the status quo. So, well, it's also it seems to also mean someone who harkens back to some sort of better time, right? Uh, that wants to ret return to that time, whether that actually existed, whether their vision of that time was real or not, is another question, right? Uh, you know, but I think that's sort of more of the the standard issue conservative. But right. you're right; the definition of to conserve would be to remain the same, right? The article here continues. It says what this study and those before it suggest is not necessarily that all liberals are geniuses and all conservatives are ignorant. Rather, it makes conclusions based off of averages of groups. The idea is that for those who lack cognitive ability to grasp complexities of our world, strict right-wing ideologies may be more appealing. Dr. Brian Nosek explained it for the Huffington Post as follows, 
ideologies get rid of the messiness and impose a simple solution. So it may not be surprising that people with less cognitive capacity will be attracted to simplifying ideologies. For an excellent continuance of this discussion and past studies, please see this article from Live Science, and then she links over to another article. And there's a little bit more on this, but I've got some thoughts. Yeah, I was going to say, why'd you bring this forward? I mean, this seems like a hit piece against conservatives. It does. But what I'm thinking is that a lot of people that want to seem to be intelligent will hold views that are opposite of the people that they deem to be less intelligent. So people that, you know, based on this study, people that are quote unquote less intelligent are conservative. So I think a lot of people that want to seem as though they're intelligent will hold what are considered to be liberal views. Okay. They might not necessarily understand the complexities of why they hold the view. Just, you know, well, we're not them. Mm. And it also fits the narrative of people with less cognitive ability want an ideology that is simple. And the Democrats, for the most part... I want you to explain this again for me. Hang on. We're going to come back with more Free Talk Live here in moments. Who want intimacy and pleasure back in their love life, don't ask if. They ask when. So men, spark up your love life, get pleasure and intimacy back, and please your special lady with Epic Nights. Epic Nights is a safe, revolutionary herbal sexual formula for men that combines ancient herbal ingredients and modern science to significantly support stamina, performance, and pleasure. Men, Epic Nights is a proven 100% natural product that works first time, every time, even after consuming alcohol. And you won't hear any of those cliche disclaimers, men. Because Epic Nights will not give you unwanted side effects, but Epic Nights will allow you to give your partner what they deserve. Epic Nights is guaranteed as one of the most effective male enhancers on the web or will refund your purchase 100%. Buy Epic Nights at buyepicnights.com, spelled B-U-Y-E-P-I-C-N-I-G-H-T-S.com or call 1-877-330-1120, 877-330-1120. Epic Nights, one pill, one Epic Night. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Phone records, financial and location data, Prism, Tempora, X-Keyscore, Boundless Informant. 
Hey, y'all, Scott Horton here for offnow.org. Now, here's the deal. Due to the Snowden revelations, we have a great opportunity for a short period of time to get some real rollback of the national surveillance state. Now, they're already trying to tire us by introducing fake reforms in the Congress. And the courts, they betray their sworn oaths to the Constitution and Bill of Rights again and again and can in no way be trusted to stop the abuses for us. We've got to do it ourselves. How? We nullify it at the state level. It's still not easy, but the Off Now project of the 10th Amendment Center has gotten off to a great start. I mean it. There's real reason to be optimistic here. They've gotten their model legislation introduced all over the place. In state after state, I've lost count, more than a dozen. You're always wondering, yeah, but what can we do? Here's something, something important, something that can work if we do the work. Get started cutting off the NSA support in your state. Go to offnow.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control here. It's toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us online. Head over to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that are waiting for you on the site. We have a mobile site at M, as in mobile.freetalklive.com as well. And don't forget that ProXPN is a great solution for privacy online. You go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You can download their software there for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android devices. If you're a Linux user, just email their support department. They'll give you some instructions. Pretty easy to get it set up with Linux as well. Just takes a few extra steps. Of course, that's how Linux is with everything. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Why do you hate Linux? I don't hate Linux. I just don't really care for it that much. Um, I've used it. And I will use it again in the future, I'm sure, for certain things. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Doesn't matter what operating system is your preference. They've got you covered. And when I say have you covered, I mean they're literally covering what you're doing online to at least to your ISP's eyes. Your internet service provider is probably logging every website you visit, every search term that you enter, and then keeping that information for up to five years. You can stop that from happening by using ProXPN, and you can go and download it right now at ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can do it for free. They actually have a free account there. And when you're ready to upgrade to premium level, you can do that with our discount code FTL20. That saves you 20% off of the regular price of their premium account, which, by the way, allows you to select the server of your choice around the world. The premium account also offers unlimited bandwidth as well as the ability to privately torrent. Plus, you can get past regionally blocked websites. Pro XPN is a really handy tool, and you can get it for 5 bucks a month if you order the annual plan using our discount code FTL20 for that 20% for the lifetime of the account discount. There's also a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits, unlike your internet service provider. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. As we continue here, uh, Daryl, you were kind of uh, telling us about this article from Psychology Today, which goes into some detail about lower in people of lower intellect and how apparently that a lower intellect As a child means that you are more likely to be bigoted in the future and or conservative. Yes. Not necessarily both. Right. right. Uh, so I, I'll read again. It you says, could be a bigoted uh, lefty The well. The study from 2012 found in a correlation that lower intelligence in childhood is predictive of greater racism in adulthood with this effect being mediated partially explained through conservative ideology. The study and others like it do not suggest that all liberals are geniuses and all conservatives are ignorant. Rather, it makes conclusions based off of averages of groups. And there's someone, Dr. Brian Nosick, who explained as follows that ideologies get rid of the messiness and impose a simple solution. So it may not be surprising that people with less cognitive capacity will be attracted to simplified ideologies. And so what I what was... What is the ideology of a conservative anyway? I mean, these people don't even have principle, and, and neither do liberals. They don't have an ideology, do they? I mean, well, they have just... an ideology. It's just not fairly... Prin- it's not very principled. It. 
You can't define it. How would you, you can't define really it? define it, and it's not principled, but yeah. it's still an ideology. The Republicans' ideology is we're not Democrats. <laughs> the Democrats' ideology <laughs> is we're not Republicans. So both of those attract people that don't want to think about the details of any particular issue. They attract people that just want to be the opposite of whatever that guy is. Really? I thought Republicans were like champions of militarization and Democrats were champions of like the welfare system. But I I find it kind of ironic that they're taking averages based on uh, conclusions they've drawn from groups of people because that's kind of what racism is. You're taking uh, the average actions of people in one specific group and applying that judgment to each individual within that group. Maybe it's not true for everyone. Mm, I don't know if that's racism. Racism generally has to do with thinking of one race, usually your own, as being superior to other races. Right, but that means you have to look down on the other races. So if you're looking down on, say, like Hispanics or African Americans, like you have to be thinking that everybody within that group of people is below you in some way based on some judgment you've made on the entire group and not each individual person. Right, but you could also be bigoted against you know left-handed people. Like, I've never met a left-handed person that wasn't a serial killer, <laughs> therefore all left-handed people are evil. <laughs> Like that—that's not at all logical. Well, no, but that I mean, would be a correlation's bigoted, not causation, right? But that—that that would be a bigoted thing to say about all left-handed people based on the actions of one or two. And for the record, I don't know if I've ever met a left-handed person that was a serial killer. I was just, you know, making a, a metaphor there. Well, and and this is in a per- the, the results of this study aren't bigoted necessarily either, right? They're just showing the results. They're saying right. that their results were that if you are of lower intellect, you are more likely to be a, a bigot. Right. And, and I'm not trying to discredit the entire study. I'm just saying it's it's a little bit ironic, but that's how every scientific study is. You have to take all of, like all of the results and make a conclusion based on a generalization. Well, plus, uh, you also should be able to duplicate the study as well, right? Right. So, right. And we don't know if that's the case uh, with this. Well, it says this study and others like it uh, okay. suggest. So it was a meta-analysis? It was uh, multiple studies they, they looked at? Uh, the author of this article apparently has looked at more than one okay. because she does say that yeah, that's right. this study that and earlier. those before it suggest blah 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 so the suggestion is that lower intelligence people might be more likely to be bigoted and might be more likely to be conservative right yes. is that the takeaway here that and the somebody might look at that and say oh well you're just saying liberals are smarter well that's the suggestion there but well who it really actually cares? says that that's not what we're saying it says we are not saying that all liberals are geniuses and no, all conservatives are ignorant. Of course, ignorant. that's not what they're saying. They're not saying all of them. They're not saying all of them are geniuses. They're saying that if you're in, you're lower intellect, you're more likely to be right. One and of these I'm other saying things. that people that have the you know liberal ideologies are probably just they lack just as much cognitive ability. They just want to be seen as being smarter. Yeah, but if they want to be seen as being smarter, then then and that would suggest they're not as in or or that they're as smart or not as smart as the conservatives. So why aren't they scoring similarly? Why is it not an even Steven deal as to whether or not they would be liberals or conservatives? I mean, this seems to definitely suggest that conservatives are more likely to have dummies within their ranks than well, are liberals. It, it doesn't even say that. It says lower intelligence in childhood mm-hmm. is predicative of racism in adulthood yes so just because you read five more books as a child doesn't make you a lot smarter as an adult okay so just because you were in the you know special class in school where you you know like you were the bluebird in the reading class Mm -hmm. you know that doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be much more intelligent as an adult so is this also implying that you could have been less intelligent when you were younger, but when you grow up, you're just that much smarter? And like, no matter how smart you are when you're an adult, even though you were stupid as a child, basically, like 
that's the only thing that matters, even if you gain intelligence in, in adulthood. That's, like, that's not going to make you change your viewpoints. Based on the sentence here that said that there was correlation between lower intelligence in childhood that is predicative of greater racism in adulthood. So it sounds as though they were somehow figuring out how intelligent somebody was as a child yeah. and then figuring out what their actions and thoughts so were not as talking an about, adult. They're not talking about intellect as an adult right? being more likely to be a conservative, like a lower intellect is more likely to be conservative as an adult. Right, I that's, that's not what, what they this were says. Saying. They're not saying that. Okay, thanks for clarifying. We'll continue with your calls and thoughts here. 855 450 free. Personally, it doesn't matter to me who's smarter, whether liberals or conservatives. I don't want a smart person ruling over me or a dumb person ruling over me. More coming up. It's Free Talk Live. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers, and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2945. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2945. 1-800-514-2945. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud, the fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste, and safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. 
What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Just dial on in toll-free here to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Don't forget, we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. We'll get you approved, and it'll be easy for you to call us from that point forward. The us includes me, Ian. Ellen. And Daryl. And Daryl's here courtesy of his website, which is fpp.cc. Dodd Frank, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac are killing the mortgage industry. But the Mortgage Minute guy, Roger Schlesinger, has found some ways around the rules and organizations. Private loan sellers are competing directly against the U.S. government, and things look good. Stated income loans are back. These were truly less trouble than traditional mortgages. You state your income, truthfully, obviously, and they get you a loan. Rates are great, and it's never been easier to get a loan. If you need to refinance or get cash out, call the Mortgage Minute guy at 1-866-288-0088 or go to MortgageMinuteGuy.com. That's 866-288-0088 or MortgageMinuteGuy.com. We're talking about intellect and political viewpoint. Let's go to Ron in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live, Ron, with Ian, Ellen, and Daryl. Hey, guys, I love your show, and I, I came into this a little late, but as I turned you on, and I wish you were on my radio more, um, you say it's something to the effect of conservatives have no ideology. Neither do liberals. That followed, yeah, I mean, that's insane. What do you I mean? mean? I, yeah, I, I respect you guys, and you have, you have lots of different opinions. But, I mean, conservatives have no ideology and have no backup and no reason, no thing they believe. And What's the principle that backs it, the conservative viewpoint? Well, I mean, it, it's universal to everything. It's small government, limited powers of government, maximum personal freedom. Uh, I mean, you, you can go on and on. I mean, I, I can if you like. Well, wait, if that were true— if that were true, then why wouldn't conservatives support ending the war on drugs uh, in general? I mean, they generally don't. Why wouldn't conservatives, if they're for small government, uh, be to be in favor of reducing the, the size of the military, uh, bringing uh, troops home from around the world? I don't hear that coming from conservatives. Do you? Well, I don't think that yeah, – and it's debatable. But I don't – I mean, if I guess you could say small government – in regards to the military, you could say small government as – small numbers of employees in government i think you if, mean except uh, for the military right because it's right, usually you need, the, if you're when, when you say that you mean ex- with the exception of the military because most conservative talk show hosts at least certainly aren't calling for the reduction in the size of the scope of the military i mean you know maybe well, what you're saying is that if conservatives have this small government ideology that all these people calling themselves conservatives aren't actually conservatives no, I think the, uh, the conservative conservative principles regarding the, the federal government are that it should be constrained to the 16 things that it's uh, specifically allowed to do in the Constitution. The primary function of the federal government is to defend the territory of the United States. So that's perfectly within the you – know, not that we necessarily have to go invade Vietnam. Right, but, but are they you know, acting the, on those United principles? States is the core fun- Say again? Are they acting on those principles? Well, no. Half. Well, I mean, it depends on who you define as a conservative. Who would you define as but, a conservative? Uh, Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Charles Proudhammer. Was George W. George Bush Lowe, a conservative? You know. I'm sorry. I said, was George W. Bush a conservative? No, no, he ran as one. But um, come on, he, he doubled the education department. Conservatives would close the education department. So there are people yeah, that run yeah. as conservatives that aren't actually. Like they're trying to ruin the name of conservatives? Everyone runs as a conservative. This is a conservative country except for a small cadre of nutcases. Everyone, liberals run as conservatives. Barack Obama runs as a conservative. Everybody runs as a conservative. It's just who governs as a conservative. But to say that there's no principles, I mean, the same thing for the, the liberals. I mean, they want statism. They want fascism. They want control of the individual by the state. They want the state to be involved in every decision and every – to say they have no – ideology and they're it's 
that's just fascist. Well, to me, an ideology is something that's, uh, and and maybe I'm maybe I'm confusing ideology with principle, but it you would are. Seem that that uh, an ideology should have a principle, and uh, and it seems like conservatism and uh, liberalism do not have principles. They just seem to be political philosophies based on the viewpoints of a few people who happen to be the trendsetters in that philosophy at a given moment. So uh, whatever the Ted Cruz uh, what it was. I don't know much about him. I've heard his name thrown around. He's uh, a senator from radio. Texas, okay, and he Florida. goes around. Do, that, that's Marco Rubio that's okay. from Florida. Uh, Ted Cruz fear is about how the Democrats are trying to eliminate uh, free speech. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, so well, the, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Senate Majority Leader just introduced a resolution to uh, amend the Constitution to change the First Amendment. How can you say they're not against first free speech? Go to any campus and say, I love Ronald Reagan, and see how long it takes before they pick you up and throw you off the ground. That's pretty what ridiculous. What do you mean liberals are not against free speech? I don't think that's no, what he said. I, I said that he's fear-mongering, saying that they're trying to take it away. The House they Joint... Are, Re- right? Hold on. The House Joint Resolution that was introduced has zero chance of getting a two-thirds majority in both the Senate and the House of Representatives, and even less chance of being ratified by three-fifths of the state legislatures. Okay, so he's fear-mongering because liberals want to take away free speech but don't currently have the power. (laughs) No. No, he's saying that they're trying to do it, and just because— and the amendment, or rather the House Joint Resolution or Senate Joint Resolution that was introduced would say that the federal government can regulate money in politics. And while I'm Political certainly I, I'm certainly sympathetic to the fact that you know money is needed in politics, the fact that this is basically a symbolic resolution that will go nowhere, then yes, it is fear-mongering to say that Harry Reid is going to eliminate free speech before the end of the year. That is certainly no, fear-mongering. fear-mongering. If, if you are a leading political figure and you want to intern all Japanese citizens, but you just don't have the votes, it's not fear-mongering to say you're a totalitarian nutcase and you need to be out of politics. So, just because they don't have the votes yet to impose complete authoritarianism you guys are libertarians who am i talking to you're the keen free state people i i'm in no <laughs> way defending harry reed being a wacko that wants to enslave the world i'm just saying there are more realistic things to go attack harry reed on well, look, I just okay. I find all of this particularly, you know, this this back and forth between the Republicans and the Democrats to be this unending conflict that is so pointless. Uh, you bring up these conservatives as though they're these uh, the people out there trumpeting the ideas of small government. But when have they actually done anything for smaller government? I mean, the the Republicans were in charge for a number of years during the Bush administration. Wasn't it six straight years six or years. something like that? Where's the smaller well, government, Ron? See, that's what I'm wondering, I because there's so many people that run as, like, conservative or liberal or, you know, even libertarian sometimes, and it seems like nothing gets done as far as reducing the size of the state goes. They're just taking advantage of these names so that they can get more supporters. Precisely. That's why there's a Tea Party, because the Republican Party, I didn't bring up these people. I responded to your question, who do I believe are conservatives? And I did not posit that George Bush is a conservative. I agreed that he wasn't. You're conflating conservatives with Republicans, and that's why there's a Tea Party, because it's the Republican wing of the Republican Party. Republican I don't even know what that means. I've, I've been to Tea Parties, Ron, and I've heard the the rhetoric com- coming from the just the average folks that are there at the Tea Party, not the speakers, not the politicians that are trying to right. utilize the Tea Party as a platform to springboard their political campaign. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about just the, the average folks. And I hear a lot of xenophobia, a lot of uh, you know fear about immigration, and you know that to me sounds like somebody who wants to increase the size of the state. Uh, you know, you got a lot lot of support of the troops, which of course is a huge arm of the state, and I don't see anybody necessarily being very consistent uh, on their calls for smaller government. It seems like conservatives have their favorite programs, and they want to make those programs bigger. Well, uh, you're 
you're you're you're bringing in a supposition that I've talked to you about before. It's just I don't believe you're correct at all. That you don't believe there should be any immigration laws at all. You don't believe there should be a border at the United States. You believe it should be a great big. Well, yeah, Schengen I mean, world. come on. I'm in favor of freedom. You, uh, you either have freedom or you don't. And you either have a free yeah, you country. Have freedom in America. You have American freedom. You know, it's say, okay. No, 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 no. Mexican no, freedom belongs freedom to all to human here. beings. Freedom is something that all human beings should have. And if they can get to this plot of land, they should be able to have more of it because this is supposed to be a free country. I thank you, Ron, for your call tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you at 855 450 free. This is so common amongst conservatives this fear of immigration, the fear of the idea of allowing other people coming here. And it's true for liberals as well. You know, a lot of them support the border patrol and the military and things like that. I don't want to make it sound like, you know, we're just picking on conservatives here. 855 450 free. You take control. Hour three's next. Free talk live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, May 30th, 2014. Radio VR News. President Obama has quietly hosted Hillary Clinton for lunch on Thursday. Big question is, why? White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. The former Secretary of State slipped into the White House unannounced, and though the president's aides confirmed the lunch happened, they won't discuss it. In fact, since it wasn't on Obama's public schedule, the only reason we know about it is because Clinton had an interview with People magazine about her upcoming book, Hard Choices, and the magazine tweeted about it. As to what actually transpired between the current president and his party's top candidate to be the next, the best that can be said is, oh, to be a fly on the wall. Mark Smith at the White House. Police in California say they knew about threatening videos during a welfare check on the young man who later killed six people. Ed Donahue has more on the man involved in the Santa Barbara killing spree. The Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department now says deputies who checked on Elliot Roger were aware he posted some disturbing videos, but they never looked at them before or after it was determined Roger was not a threat to himself or others. The department also revealed Roger uploaded the final video titled Day of Retribution at 9.17 p.m. on the day of the attacks. One minute later, he emailed a lengthy manifesto detailing his plans. The first gunshots were fired 10 minutes later. Eight minutes after that, Elliot Roger was dead. I'm Ed Donahue. 
Donald Sterling's days of owning the L.A. Clippers could be over. Sources say the NBA franchise is close to being sold for a record amount. Correspondent Mike Myers has more on the potential buyer. The L.A. Clippers are reportedly being sold for a record $2 billion. Steve Ballmar, the former CEO of Microsoft, who has an estimated net worth of $20 billion, won a frenetic bidding war for ownership of the team. The sale price is nearly four times the highest previous price paid for an NBA franchise. Donald Sterling was forced to sell the Clippers after he was banned for life by the NBA recently for making racist comments in a secret audio recording. The perspective deal is expected to get the approval of the 29 other NBA owners during a June 3rd hearing. Mark Myers, Los Angeles. Google's workforce is mostly made up of white men, according to diversity data from the tech giant, but the company says that's something it wants to change. Sandy Kozell has the details. Under growing pressure on the tech industry to hire more minorities and women, Google has released statistics documenting the diversity of its workforce. The numbers show 70 percent of the people working at the search giant are men. 61 percent of the workers are white. In a blog, Google's senior vice president says, simply put, the company is not where it wants to be when it comes to diversity. I'm Sandy Kozell. Car crashes across the country don't just drive up insurance rates. They also cost the economy a bundle. Correspondent Diane Kepley reports on the price of automobile accidents. The economic impact from the crashes amounted to more than $870 billion in 2010 and was the equivalent of nearly 2 percent of the country's gross domestic product. Among the factors that weigh in are lost productivity, property damage, and the cost of medical and rehabilitation treatment and costs to employers. The way people act also plays a role, with speeding, alcohol use, and distracted driving accounting for more than half the cost. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox is expected to use the results of the study to press for larger fines for recall violations to keep automakers from concealing safety defects. Diane Kepley, Washington. Two boys have been declared co-champions of the National Spelling Bee for the first time in 52 years. Violet Economova has the story. It didn't look good for 14-year-old Sriram Hathbar in round 16 of the finals. K-O-R-B-R-U-I-T-E-R, Corbuter. But because Sri Ram was the first speller, his opponent Anson Sujo had to get his word right to win. Anson did not, and the pair went back and forth for about a dozen more rounds until the word list ran out and they were named co-champions. The competition was against the dictionary, not against each other. Uh, I'm happy to share this trophy with him. That audio of Sri Ram, courtesy of ESPN. I'm Violet Ekonomova. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Ziggle. And I'm Rick Young. The latest news from around the world. We are Radio VR in Washington. A heroic broken sewage pipe floods Congress with waste. Johnson & Johnson introduces new leave-in Q-tips. This Thursday, local youth Andrew Robillard told reporters he had no idea why he couldn't wear his Iron Man costume to his grandfather's funeral. Robillard, whose grandfather passed away this week after complications from a stroke, vented his frustration to reporters and noted that his grandpa, quote, probably wouldn't even care if he dressed like Iron Man at the funeral. Iron Man is awesome. I want to wear my Iron Man suit. I am a Man. And in tech news, a news website refers to its users' ceaseless exchange of racial slurs as a discussion. In other news, Guinness World Records promotes the man who can lift 27 pounds with his tongue to editor-in-chief. Thursday's cry is moved up to Wednesday due to a scheduling conflict, and a family watches in silence as dad checks out the waitress. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the third hour of the program. There's plenty of time for you to call in here toll-free and bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. You can also join Ellen on her show, ALP. It stands for different things. 
Uh, yeah, it stands for something different every week. We try to fit it to the topic, but originally it was awesome, loving, and positive. Yes. So we're the ALP girls. You and, and Allie, who is your yes. co-host, and you guys are now producing your show during the week on Tuesdays, I think? Yes, How many actually, days does it usually take to get the show out to the internet? Well, I'm the one that's editing it, so it varies okay. by how busy my schedule is, but usually I can get it up at least the day before the next one comes out. All right, great. And uh, you guys are uh, cranking away again? Yep, we, we do it live through Ustream, and uh, when I'm done editing it, I upload it to our website, alpshow.com. So this week's episode, uh, what was the theme? This week, we actually covered the NAP, finally, the Non-Aggression, non-aggression principle. principle. Yeah, it, it took a few months, but we so finally got So what did ALP there. stand for when you covered the NAP? <laughs> um, I actually chose Aggressors Lack Perspective. Okay, I like Ooh. that. Yeah, uh, and it, I thought it was kind of fitting. You know, you can't really see the effects of your actions mm-hmm. if you're just uh, always aggressing. You know, you don't know what the ripple effect is going to be on that. You can know, I think that, uh, I mean, if you know how aggression and violence works, you can predict that violence will usually beget more violence. Yes. Uh, but yeah, that does that does require to have a longer perspective to be able to understand those sorts of things. Fascinating stuff. You ladies do a great job with your show. Well, ALPshow.com you. is the website. That's ALPshow.com for more. Ellen and Daryl, FPP.cc is uh, a bevy of information. Yes. And also FPPradio.com. That's where I put all of the audio that I do, including the daily five-minute newscast that I have now been doing for 115 days, I mm. believe. Wow, it seems like longer than that. Began does, it feel, in, does it feel like longer than that to you, to having done it every day, seven well, days a week? When I start thinking about I began doing this in February, yeah. then holy cow, it's been almost four months. Right. Does, Monday will be four months. So you mean it's been passing so quickly? Yes. I can imagine. What was the last thing that you covered on that? Uh, There's several. I mean, he's doing multiple stories right. for five minutes. G- generally, I have three stories every day. Uh, the one was about the Ukrainian president-elect saying that he will take out the rebels who have been being attacked by the Ukrainian military and successfully shot down a helicopter. So we we will take revenge on the rebels. That was one of the stories. Uh, the email leaked, or not leaked, but the email released by the NSA where they tried to discredit Edward Snowden and say, he didn't bring up any of these issues. See, here's an email. <laughs> and the email that they released to the media was one of the final emails that he sent before he finally put in his resignation. So presumably when you're getting ready to walk out the front door, you're not telling the boss everything that happened six months prior that led to you wanting to quit your job. Right. So they're they're trying to, you know, the NSA is trying to discredit Edward Snowden and I forget <laughs> what the final story was. It's a little late for that. I to know. Discredit the, Edward the, de- the delay time is quite long for that. <laughs> yeah, it's been almost one year. June fifth will be one yeah. year since the first. Oh, I wonder if that's stuff. when Greenwald's going to release the big list. Probably because Green- there's also a big. Let's uh, mention what we're talking about. Glenn Greenwald has uh, has promised to release a list of all of the people in the United States uh, that the NSA had spied on. And if I don't know at least 50 people on the list, then I have failed as an <laughs> you activist. you got work to do. Yeah, Yeah, I know. We better all be on that list. You I'm can't not going to be disappointed if I'm not on the list. I just It's more of a curiosity to me than yeah. anything else. But June 5th, there's a big day, internet day of action called Reset the Net. Oh, now what? What are they pushing for now? Uh, to increase... Well, no, it's a bunch of privacy companies uh-huh. that are pushing to sort of get people to adopt SSL hmm. and secure browsing and VPNs. Like PGP? Uh, I, I no. haven't noticed PGP being one hmm. of the things. Uh, there's a domain registrar. We both use it, me and you, Ian, uh, but I don't know if we can mention the name, but they're name putting cheap? out... A, Name cheap. Yeah. They're putting a discount on SSL for websites so that your Sweet. website will be secure 
I and like Namecheap. I mean, they've been really happy with them. I moved yeah. over uh, from GoDaddy after their whole... They take Bitcoin. They do. In fact, I actually just... I had done credit card on Namecheap, but I actually just paid up with some Bitcoin on my last renewal. So, yeah. very cool. Um, I would love to get Namecheap on board as uh, as a sponsor. The one thing they don't do, and I don't know why, is they don't do .fm. So, I still have lrn.fm over at, uh, at GoDaddy. They must not have an agreement with whoever it is that's behind Federated Micronesia, I think it is, yeah. uh, the .fm. So, uh, you share your thoughts here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You know, I had more to say, I think, on this conservative topic that we've been on. We had a caller in the last hour who was he was talking about conservative ideology and that it's for small government. And I'm sorry, I just don't see it uh, coming from so-called conservatives. So, of course, then the idea is, well, oh, those aren't real conservatives. That's why we have a Tea Party, he says. And when you go to the Tea Party, sure, there are some things that they would like to not have the federal government be doing that it is currently doing. But there are also some things that they feel like the federal government isn't doing or isn't doing a good enough job of that they want to see more money allocated to. They want right. to see, you know, a border wall or, and I'm being very general, obviously at a tea party, there's going to be people with different opinions, just like at an Occupy event, there's going to be people with different opinions. But there are people at these tea parties, and it, they don't seem unwelcome, who are uh, advocating for immigration restrictions. And that means, you know, if you want immigration restrictions, you got to have more bureaucrats to enforce those immigration restrictions. So you're talking about bigger government there. So what you're case. saying right, is see, that they want smaller government in some areas, but larger in others. So well, yes. he, here's how we do this. Here's how we do this without adding any more government jobs. I am a genius for thinking of this. We take everybody that works in the welfare office and then put them in the Give immigration the office. <laughs> no, we just put them in the immigration office. Uh -huh. okay. So that way we're not adding any more bureaucrats. We're just shifting bureaucrats from programs that conservatives don't like to programs that conservatives do like. We've not added a single government job. Not really smaller government, though. Smaller in a certain area, maybe. Yeah, yeah but not there's overall. less money being spent on welfare. But also Ergo, more, money being spent, more money being spent on helicopter pads and fences. How and much is it guns? going to help them if all of these people are just moved into an office and not actually like on the ground where they can take action? Well, they're going to need well, to have see, more people with that, guns. That's where all of the military from all around the world, we bring them all home and stand them shoulder to shoulder on the border <laughs> so that nobody can come across. Well, then they'll start playing games of Red Rover. We'll yes, see how and that I, I actually <laughs> saw something. I think it was a uh, Twitter comment that said that you know the way you solve the immigration problem is you set up a big game of Red Rover on the border, <laughs> and if you break the chain, you get to stay. I think that's a pretty good policy. I mean, better than the one we have now, at least. Like, if you can fight through the the link, the human linkage, then you can make it into America. I just don't like the whole idea of like forcing people to stand on the border to play Red Rover. No, yeah. I mean. That's that's clearly not the solution here, but I'm just saying so, I think that would be a much more creative and fun way to enforce border border patrols. Michael Cloud is uh, one of the libertarian speakers. He's uh, he's a good communicator, and he's written some really useful books on uh, on how to be a better communicator with the ideas of freedom. And he put it this way. Uh, this idea that somebody who's for smaller government at the same time has these certain pet programs that they don't want to see they don't want to see cuts made that's they'd called like cognitive see, dissonance they'd like to see expansions made in those programs and so it's uh it's he calls it smaller government except and or minus one or something like that and what you have is even if you elect somebody like that they spend all their time trying to get the bigger government area that they want to, to expand the program they want expanded and no time whatsoever trying to make the government smaller what if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. 
All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2945. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2945. 1-800-514-2945. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here. Toll-free numbers 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we're talking about the idea of these so-called small government conservatives and it sort of seems like a myth to me, <laughs> the small government conservative. But you can uh, share your thoughts here and you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. You can actually join Free Talk Live live and in real life coming up in July. Maybe, you're, you're, of course, you know we're going to be at the Porcupine Freedom Festival in June. But if you can't make that, or if you can make that, you'll still want to go to the North American Bitcoin Conference happening in Chicago. And I'm told this is the first bitcoin conference to happen in the midwest so there's been a couple out in california there's been one in texas and florida Uh, i'm not sure east coast i'm not sure beyond florida what what else east coast but uh, pork fest and liberty forum are basically the bitcoin conferences of new hampshire yeah that's probably true um north american bitcoin conference is happening july 19th and 20th speaker is going to include roger veer you've heard of bitcoin jesus if you're in the bitcoin community roger veer is going to be there uh jeff berwick the dollar vigilante kathy reisenwitz tony Gallippi from bitpay charlie lee of litecoin trace meyer of the armory wallet peter smith from blockchain.info i mean these are the these are the big names a lot of them 
uh, are going to be in attendance at this event. You can get your tickets now at btcchicago.com. It's happening at the Chicago Cormac Place South Building, the North American Bitcoin Conference in Chicago, btcchicago.com. And, of course, you can pay for your tickets in Bitcoin. Free Talk Live will be broadcasting live from the location. We look forward to seeing you there. So where were we? We were talking about conservatives, this big claim. Cons- uh, small government except. Oh, yeah, yeah. The idea of the small government minus one or whatever. And this was this was something that uh, Michael Cloud applied towards some libertarian candidates who, you know, weren't truly pro-liberty. There was some issue that they had that they, they still liked the government to do something on. And, of course, somebody with a definition like of conservative like we heard earlier on the show tonight from our, our earlier caller – you know, he makes it sound like conservatives are libertarian, right? Like that, uh, oh, well, a real conservative is somebody who's for smaller government across the board. And I don't remember well, what and his exact I, I think, was, but... uh, was it Ronald Reagan that said the heart and soul of a conservative is libertarian? And Reagan ran on a platform of, you know, like cut the size of government, yep. abolish the Department of Education that was only just a couple of years old. And he wound up vastly increasing the budget sure for the did. Department of Education, the whole government. ramping up the drug war, greatly increasing the government spending. But yet, whenever you talk to one of these small government, supposedly small government conservative apologists, they always blame. Well, they, they blame the Democrats for all of the bad things that happened when Reagan was president. What happened to his veto pen? I mean, if the Demo- if it's all the Democrats' fault, then was his cr- was his hand crippled? Was he unable to uh, to sa- to you know to stop things from going through? Well, clearly not. If he was expanding all of these things, right. I think what happens is people start focusing so much on what they want to support that they don't realize that they're letting go all of these other programs. Like, sure, you might want to increase like welfare for uh, like single mothers, but at the same time, if you want to decrease like the military in other countries, you're probably just going to ignore that and spend your time increasing funding for this one area yeah and that was the point that michael cloud was making even if you had a person who was mostly liberty-minded on almost every issue except for one and then you had other people who were also elected with that same viewpoint in the in this miracle world where somebody with a a liberty mindset could actually be elected uh if you get 400 of those people together or what is it 535 in uh, in congress yes 435 in the House, 100 senators. If you get 435 of those people uh, together in a room, then they're all going to throw their idea in for what they think government should do. They're all going to be different. Then they're all going to back scratch and log roll one another until every one of those ideas gets put on the floor with some level of support. They're going to focus on increasing the size of government, not reducing it, which is why you need, if you're going to try a political route, you have to have people who are principled towards the ideas of liberty, people who understand that in order to be free, you have to allow others to be free and that government is not a good steward of anything whatever your political program is whatever your goal is your social goal that you want to achieve that government isn't the solution to that whatever it is that you have to be more creative you have to think of ways to achieve what it is you want to do if it's helping the poor Think of ways to help the poor without threatening your neighbor to get money to help the poor. If it's helping the sick, do the same thing. Come up with creative ways to help people, mutual aid societies, for instance, or whatever, to uh, to help people who are sick, needy, etc. If it's going and, and re- rescuing people from uh, some dictator around the world, uh, you know, the kidnapped girls over in... Wherever it was in Africa, Nigeria, if you want to do something about that, then raise the money voluntarily to hire mercenaries or you yourself go ahead and strap on a balaclava, grab some uh, machine guns and go to town and try to find people to support you in that. But wait, 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 Ian. We can't just have vigilantes running around. Why not? There would be I pure mean, chaos. Hold on. We have vigilantes running around right now. They just happen to have a little badge that says police officer on it. No, I understand. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate yes. here. No, I think that's great, uh, and and it's a it's a great point. Um, and and the, I guess the typical definition of a vigilante is someone who's outside of the system, right? Uh, the people with the badges acting have, outside of the law. Yeah, the people with the badges have the uh, the color of law, so they're they're not seen as as vigilantism or vigilante. Right, right. but when you've got 
police officers like the guys in New Mexico that pepper sprayed a woman's vagina because they didn't like the way she was acting at a traffic stop. Oh, my. You've got cops in New Mexico that raped a man six times Ugh. looking for drugs because he had clenched buttocks. I remember that one. That's horrible. And they never found anything. They forced him to defecate twice throughout the night yep. in between shoving colon scopes and their hands in his rectum. Well, the, the real tragedy was it was actually doctors that assisted the uh, police in doing those things. Right. But so, you've got those people doing that. These people are acting under discretion of the law, so I can't imagine that anybody that didn't have the badge would be able to do that and get away with it, especially if there was bystanders. Right, and these it's people true. are being sued for what they've done but there's probably going to be some judge saying they've got immunity. Mm -hmm. They certainly, there's not a law saying if somebody has a clenched buttocks, rape them. Well, gosh, I mean, we have to rape him six times. He might have had some coke in there. I mean, after the first five times, obviously that wasn't enough. All of this just to stop someone who purportedly may possibly have had a chemical in an orifice. I mean, that's so, it's just the, the, the height of ridiculousness. And, of course, there's plenty of conservatives out there who have no objection whatsoever to continuing on with this insane war well, on they'll, drugs. They'll just say, that's a few bad apples. But the saying is, a few bad apples spoils, spoils the, the bunch. bunch. <laughs> Meaning all of the apples eventually go bad yeah. because of a few. It's true. So share your thoughts here at 855 free. And, you know, we've got other things that uh, that we can talk about here besides the, you know, the supposed conservatives out there who are purportedly bringing a smaller government. But yet whenever they get elected, there's no smaller government. Uh, of course, in the last decade, there was some Speaker of the House guy, Tom somebody or other, who uh, made a statement. He was a Republican. He said uh, that the government had been cut to the bone, that they couldn't cut it back any further. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was basically my response to that statement. Yeah. It was absolutely ludicrous. And this was one of the, the key Republican leaders. And I'm sure that, you know, somebody will say, well, he wasn't a real conservative. Okay. Well, we're still waiting on them, I guess. 855 450 free. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com.
There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you're David, a few well-chosen words can help level the playing field with Goliath. I'm Holland Cook from SurvivalSpeech.com. Recently, I saw a Yellow Pages ad for an appliance repair company, and the headline read, Why Wait for Sears? If you're going to the Yellow Pages, the Dead Sea Scrolls of Advertising, you're ready to buy right now. So this is an attention-grabbing message. And how about the plumber whose radio ad says, Call by noon Thursday, and we'll be there Saturday at no extra cost. Smart guy. Most plumbing firms give their crew the weekend off. This one gives them Sunday and Monday off. In the words of a respected advertising executive, cut to the chase, make it quick, and tell me exactly what you can do for me, especially if you're looking for work. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything you want right here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. So contact us that way if you prefer. And if you prefer coffee, we've got some great coffee for you. You can get a whole pound of it for free. Best of the best coffee out there from BuzzBox. It's shade grown, 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica. Coffee, this is great stuff. Uh, Mark is a huge coffee drinker. He drinks a pot of coffee per day, and he's a huge fan of BuzzBox. It's competitively priced with other high-end coffees, and, of course, free is a really great price. The first pound you get will be free. You'll be signing up for a subscription where you can actually select the delivery frequency. So how long does it take you to go through a pound? Well, you'll find out with your first pound, if you don't already know, and then you can set... Uh, the frequency of delivery. So if it takes you two weeks to burn through a pound of coffee, then you can do it every two weeks, or you can have your pound, your next pound delivered four weeks, six weeks, whatever I think is your preference. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You can go there and get signed up. You do have to pay the shipping cost on that free pound, but otherwise the pound itself will not cost you anything. And that's because BuzzBox really believes that you're going to enjoy their product. Uh, They're convinced that you'll be a huge fan and you'll stay on board. Now, of course, if you're not happy with it, you can always cancel your subscription at any time. Um, And again, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Live.com. But it's not just great coffee over at BuzzBox. They've also set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their coffee co-op, and they work with World Vision to help finance microloans. So every 10 Free Talk Live listeners who sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com, for every 10 Free Talk Live listeners, they will be able to finance one new microloan through World Vision to help people change their own lives in places where it can be pretty difficult to, uh, to eke out a living. So again, go to coffee.freetalklive.com and get started there. Get your first pound for free. Just pay the cost of shipping. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Let's move to a slightly different story. This is uh, kind of a recap of something that happened a couple years ago. Remember uh, there was headlines a while back about the Gibson Guitar Factory being raided by the federal government. Yes. And it's back. Over a paperwork snafu, if I recall correctly. Lumber Union protectionists incited the SWAT raid on the factory, says Gibson Guitar CEO. 
This from Forbes.com's Bill Frezza, one of their contributors. Henry, a SWAT team from Homeland Security just raided our factory. What? This must be a joke. No, this is really serious. We've got guys with guns. They put all of our people out in the parking lot, and they won't let us go into the plant. Whoa. What's happening? Asked Gip, uh, Gibson Guitar CEO Henry Juskowitz when uh, he arrives at his Nashville factory to question the officers. We can't tell you. What are you talking about you can't tell me? You can't just come in and... We have a warrant. Well, let me see the warrant. We can't show that to you because it's sealed. While 30 <laughs> men in SWAT attire dispatched from Homeland Security and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service cart away about, cart away about half a million dollars worth of wood and guitars, seven armed agents interrogate an employee without benefit of a lawyer. The next day, Juskowitz, the CEO, receives a letter warning that he cannot touch any guitar left in the plant under threat of being charged with a separate federal offense for each violation, punishable by a jail term. Up until that point, Gibson had not received so much as a postcard telling the company that it might be doing something wrong. Thus began a five-year saga. Wow, it's been five years already. Extensively covered by the press with reputation-destroying leaks and shady allegations that Gibson was illegally importing wood from endangered tree species. In the end, formal charges were never filed. But the disruption to Gibson's business and the mounting legal fees and threat of imprisonment induced Juskowitz to settle for $250,000 with an additional $50,000 donation piled on top to pay off an environmental activist group. So what really happened at the Nashville plant? Well, Henry Juskowitz bought the troubled Gibson Guitar Company in 1986, with revenues having dropped below $10 million a year. The iconic 84-year-old guitar maker was bleeding cash and on its way to bankruptcy. Since then, Juskowitz turned Gibson around, making it into an international powerhouse, growing at better than 20% per year compounded, with current annual revenues rumored to be approaching $1 billion. A great American success story? Yes. But Gibson's very success made it a fat target for federal prosecutors, whom Juskowitz alleges were operating at the behest of lumber unions and environmental pressure groups seeking to kill the market for lumber imports. He said this case was not about conservation, he says. This was basically protectionism. Two months before the raid, lobbyists slipped some arcane supply chain reporting provisions into an extension of the Lacey Act of 1900, that changed the technical definition of fingerboard blanks, which are legal to import. With no clear legal standards, a sealed warrant the company has not been allowed to see to this day, no formal charges filed, and the threat of a prison term hanging over any executive who does not take due care to abide by this absurdly vague law, Gibson settled. You're fighting a very well-organized political machine in the unions, he concluded, and the conservation guys have sort of gone along. Hey, what's not to like about $50,000? And this isn't an isolated incident. Just ask Harvey Silverglade, Boston lawyer, activist, silver, uh, civil liberties advocate, and author of Three Felonies a Day, How the Feds Target the Innocent. As he explains, the feds routinely take advantage of the vagueness of many of our laws by starting from the target and then working backwards, selectively prosecuting people they want to go after by charging them with crimes they often don't even know exist. And, of course, we've seen this with other things, not just a guitar company, but uh, porn producers have been recently become the target of this. Porn actresses and actors are being targeted by having their bank accounts threatened and shut down. And the, the federal government, there's no cost to them for going after a company. Even if it turns out later on that there actually isn't anything they can charge someone with, as they didn't in this case. Right. It and doesn't stop them from destroying the company. I, I remember reading some articles that are somewhat related to the Gibson thing, related to the paperwork snafus. Some musicians, you know, fairly well known. I, I don't think they were necessarily, you know, like pop musicians, but well known classic musician artist that happened to have a certain type of tree that was used to make. A part of like a cello or a violin or it's a guitar. It's probably the fingerboard they're talking about here. And because they didn't have a certain form filled out when they traveled internationally, when they came back into the U.S., they had their uh, instruments seized 
over basically a paperwork snafu that most people probably would not even know that they needed to fill out. That's terrifying. I think this is one of the most terrifying things about living in the United States is that uh, they put it perfectly in this article where they pick the target and work backwards trying to figure out mm-hmm. which laws they've broken. And I just think it's it's ridiculous because isn't that one of our most basic rights that if you are charged with something, it is your right to know what you're being charged with? You'd think. And the fact that they're not even able to see what it is that they're doing illegally, it shows that the government's not trying to get them to change their ways or to stop breaking laws. They just want to take all of their revenue away from them, or in this case, the guitars that they were taking out of, basically stealing right. out of their, their company. Just destroying their inventory, and uh, you know they're still around, but it's it costs a lot of money to get out of this situation. Right. And how are they supposed to comply with the laws if they don't know what they're breaking? You can't. I mean, you can't possibly. You can hire attorneys... The attorneys can give you advice, but ultimately, as you pointed out here, Ellen, if the government wants to come after you, they will come after you, and then all the attorneys in the world won't stop them from doing it. Right. So clearly this isn't about them breaking laws. This is just about them getting money or it justifying their jobs. And, and on an individual level, so this happens to companies, obviously, but it can also happen to you. And there have been many activists who've been involved in a situation where a police officer will put you under arrest. You'll ask the officer, officer, what are you arresting me for? What are you charging me with? And the officer will say something like, well, we'll figure that out or we'll come up with something. We don't know quite yet, yeah. but soon we'll tell you. Right. We're arresting you for resisting arrest. They, they really have done this stuff. Though, I know. Right? Yeah. So the toll free number is 855 free. So it can be anybody. If they want to target you, they will. And you'll be out of a whole lot of money or you'll be in jail, one or the other, or both. Uh, You can take control here. We'll continue with the Gibson story. Uh, We'll finish that up. Your calls are certainly welcome here on Free Talk Live. More coming up. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com You've been lied to, lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Free Talk Live. The idea that politicians are leaders. Check your premises on that one. Cutting proof. Really? (laughs) Would you really follow Barack Obama or George Bush? Would you really follow their every command? Would you follow their suggestions? Do you believe that politicians are somehow more knowledgeable than you are? That politicians are of a special group of people? They're a special little critter that uh, for some reason is uh, more enlightened or educated? Constantly you can 
hear talking heads refer to the authorities or our leaders in Washington, and it's just it's just patently absurd. I mean, these people are failures at life. That's why they became politicians. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, there's so many of them are attorneys. Uh, <laughs> the good attorneys make, make a money. whole bunch of money and retire with yachts. Uh, the the unsuccessful ones go into politics. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. Enough time for you with your thoughts and your calls. You just dial in toll-free here at 855-450 free. We can keep talking about uh, the Gibson guitar ridiculousness from what was apparently five years ago, where federal agents raided the Gibson guitar factory in uh, the United States and took a whole bunch of their product. Gibson ended up settling for $250,000 plus $50,000 that uh, went to pay off an environmental activist group. And their CEO says this was all about protectionism. We'll continue on uh, what he has to say here from the Forbes piece. You're welcome to share your thoughts on this or anything at 855-450-FREE. Now, if you like Free Talk Live and you like what we're doing on the air here, talking about the ideas of freedom seven nights a week, you want to help us get on more radio stations. actually just announced a couple of new stations today online. We'll actually officially welcome them this weekend when they're on board with us on our weekend editions. Um, but we're up to 150 radio stations now. Yay! Yay! Yes. Uh, of course, we were actually at 151 uh, two weeks ago, but then we lost two. But So now we're back at 150. It's actually the first time we've announced that we've had 150. So congratulations, and thank you, Daryl, because you helped make it possible, uh, because you brought on several new radio stations yes. to Free Talk Live, and I'm sure there are more in the pipe. Uh, and it's possible that we have Daryl doing affiliate relations because of the Free Talk Live AMP program. So Daryl's here every morning, way more reliable than me. <laughs> And calling hundreds of radio stations on behalf of Free Talk Live. I also call a bunch of radio stations as well. And between the two of us, we've got the whole business covered. We've got the entire country, every station that's a talk radio station. We're probably talking to them about Free Talk Live. And we're getting on in new markets as a result of that effort. But it all comes from the Free Talk Live AMP program. That's the reason why Free Talk Live is as successful as we are. And you can become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. We are offering some really killer perks right now. There's there's two big reasons to get on board, whereas normally you just get on board to help us out right now, and you get some perks too. Right now the perks are that you, if you're a Free Talk Live amplifier, if you become one tonight at amp.freetalklive.com, not only will your amp dollar amount be doubled for the next several months, thanks to our generous contributors who are matching contributions to the AMP program, not only will your contribution be doubled, so if you do 5 bucks a month with AMP, which is the minimum amount, then it'll become $10 a month because of the doubling. And at the same time, you can also get Bitcoin back. You can get your first amounts, uh, first month's worth of AMP, so 5 bucks worth ba uh, back in Bitcoin if you want it. You know, if you don't want it, then don't take it. But it's there for you if you want it. And uh, all you have to do is send me an email at ian at freetalklive.com once you sign up for the AMP program with your Bitcoin address. So go to amp.freetalklive.com and you can get signed up there. There's also an extra perk for platinum amplifiers as well. Free Talk Live platinum amplifiers are eligible to receive a very special Free Talk Live shiny badge 
Uh, we've talked a lot about shinybadges.com, and they're really awesome badges uh, that they have. And Davi has designed using the Free Talk Live logo with the phone, uh, the fist in the in, in the you know the fist holding the phone, breaking through the chain. That can be yours. It can be a pin. You can put it on you know your favorite hat, t-shirt, bag, or wherever it is you like to put pins. And you can get one of these if you're a Free Talk Live Platinum. On the back side, it does say Platinum Amplifier engraved into the pin. This is a very limited edition. We only have 100 of them that have been made, and over a dozen of them have been claimed at this point. Uh, at this point, actually, it may be closer to two dozen. I haven't run the numbers. I usually do AMP stuff like once a week, and that's tomorrow. So I'll know more about how many we have remaining after tomorrow, and I'll give you an update on that. But this is a cool-looking badge. I have to say I'm really impressed with how it turned yeah. out. And so if you are currently a Platinum Amplifier, if you become a Platinum Amplifier by joining at amp.freetalklive.com, or if you upgrade to Platinum, uh, all you have to do is send me your, again, via email, at ian at freetalklive.com. Send me your shipping address, and then we'll make sure that one of these things gets out to you. And they should be there in time for Porkfest, for sure. So you can uh, wear one of these around, and then everyone will know you're a Free Talk Live Platinum Amplifier. I'm actually jealous of the Free Talk Live amplifiers. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We might be able to find an extra one I wish one I had a Darryl. shiny badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think maybe down the line there may be more of uh, the badges made sort of generically, but they wouldn't be the exclusive platinum style right. badge. Um, so we'll talk more with uh, with Dobby about that from Shiny Badges. But the platinum batch has the platinum amplifier engraved on the back, and uh, there's only 100 of them. So first come, first serve. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can sign up for the program there and get all the perks. We're continuing here with a story from Forbes.com about the Gibson guitar raid that happened several years ago at this November point. November of 09. Yep, it's, uh, it's been a long time already. So basically, they, uh, they never filed any charges on this. They went in there. They seized thousands of dollars worth of inventory from this factory they seized half a million dollars actually uh, was worth of wood and guitars never brought a single charge but yet the mounting legal fees and the constant threat of imprisonment induced the ceo to settle for about three hundred thousand dollars in total according to the story here uh it's gibson's success that had made it the fat target for the federal prosecutors the ceo says this was basically protectionism and it's not an isolated incident, uh, as was pointed out by the author of Three Felonies a Day, How the Feds Target the Innocent. He says that the feds routinely take advantage of the vagueness of many of the laws by starting from the target and then working backwards. Meaning, they want you, so they then figure out how to get you. What laws can they apply, or not, or just you know figure out a way to scare you into submission, to get you. We're in terrible trouble as a nation under law, he says, when you have a system predicated on jurisdictional interests rather than on specific, identifiable, understandable, definable violations of law. There is a great opportunity for tyranny. As a result, just about any business person, especially in highly regulated industries, can be construed by a prosecutor to have committed three or four arguable felonies every day. If for some reason the authorities are eyeing you and they look closely enough at your daily activities... They can find something. That makes us all very vulnerable. Worse, 95% of federal cases never go to trial because Justice Department prosecutors have engineered the system to make it too risky to go to trial, often railroading people who are innocent. They've built a conviction machine, not a system of justice. And indeed, most people take the plea deal because it's just easier that way. Yep. It's less costly when you take the plea deal, less time-consuming. And people don't want to spend time in the courts. They want to spend time making guitars or right. whatever it is that they want to do. And right. in the case of Ross Ulbrich, they'll throw out allegations of something absolutely horrible. Mm. Murder in Without this case. evidence of any connection to that thing. And then when they finally bring forth the charges, the horrible allegation is nowhere in the list of charges. Right, you're talking about Ross Ulbrich, the uh, alleged proprietor of the Silk Road, the underground, infamous underground black market on tour where drugs and other interesting things were sold. There's now Silk Road 2.0, so the fe fe federal shutdown of the site didn't actually keep it down. It's back, but Ross is in prison, and actually, interestingly, I heard his mother is going to be one of the speakers at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I wow. am so looking forward to meeting her. 
I am looking forward to finally getting her on the show. I was um, I was approached about her too late at the Texas Bitcoin conference. She was there, and we've kind of we'd kind of already booked people to speak. and And I don't like to tell somebody, oh, <laughs> well, we've got Ross Ulbricht's mother, so sorry, we won't be able to talk to you. I mean, I know we told you that we would, but no, I wasn't gonna boot somebody out who'd right, already right. been scheduled. So uh, I'm looking forward to having her on the show as well. She seemed like a. Re- I did get to talk to her at the Texas Bitcoin conference, and I told her that Free Talk Live had been following her son's case, and we've been promoting freeross. Uh, dot org, and so really nice lady. If right, Davi Barker is listening. I hope that he gives Ross Ulbricht's mother a shiny badge that is modeled oh, after yeah. the Silk Road logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually sent one of those to me. I love the uh, this, this Silk Road shiny badge. There's a little bit more to the story here from Forbes about Gibson. Federal criminal law is not bound by the accepted rules of common law. Congress, the courts, and prosecutors can criminalize everyday conduct without having to prove that the accused intended to violate a known legal duty. That intent used to be fundamental to the mens rea required for criminal liability. It no longer is, and this is a direct result of the mushrooming administrative state in which we live. The convoluted content of many laws implemented through regulation aren't even clear until after there's a guilty plea or conviction, essentially giving prosecutors a blank check. Throw unchecked prosecutorial uh, discretion into the mix, and you have a recipe for legal nightmares straight out of Kafka. This is the great flaw in the federal criminal justice system. We didn't really see the flaw in all its dangerous, florid iteration until the mid-1980s, when federal prosecutors began to take advantage of this gigantic hole. This is neither a Democratic problem nor a Republican problem. Abuse of justice by federal prosecutors has ballooned under both parties. Until the American people wake up to the threat and demand change, things will only get worse. This is everyone's problem because the more laws there are, the more uh, criminals there are. And obviously, like they're not trying to protect anyone in this case. They're not protecting Gibson or the trees. Well, they're, they're just doing this for their own interests. They're protecting Gibson's competitors, ultimately, is what they're doing. We're out of time for tonight. Check out more Ellen at ALPshow.com, Daryl at FPP.cc, and more Free Talk Live at freetalklive.com. See you tomorrow. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, May 30th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.98 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,251 per ounce. 
And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $596. Antiwar.com reports, in a move which officials are trying to spin as discrediting him, the NSA has released a single email exchange between Edward Snowden and the Office of General Counsel of the NSA Oversight related to the relation of executive orders to statutory laws. The single email released did not cover the array of issues Snowden says he brought up with the OGC, though since Snowden reported multiple email exchanges with them throughout the years that he did not bring up every single issue in this one hand-selected for release email that hardly proves they didn't happen. Indeed, the Snowden email released yesterday was actually dated a full month after Snowden began talking with reporters about leaking information, so it seems likely the major concerns he brought up in other cases, which he says he didn't get satisfactory answers for, came long before reaching this point when he was practically out the door. The NSA did not deny that other emails existed, but did claim that this was the only one that immediately came up for release. The White House insisted Snowden could have conceivably found other ways to complain about NSA abuses besides emailing the OGC, though they didn't make clear what those ways were. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The BBC reports Ukraine's president-elect Petro Poroshenko has vowed to punish bandits after rebels shot down an army helicopter killing 12 people. He was quoted saying, These criminal acts of the enemies of the Ukrainian people will not go unpunished. The helicopter was shot down near the eastern city of Sloviansk. An army general was among those killed. Sloviansk has seen fierce fighting between the Ukrainian army and the rebels. Russia has reiterated calls for Ukraine to stop its military campaign against the rebels and start a real national dialogue. In a separate development, Ukraine, Russia, and the EU are due to open a new round of talks in Berlin on resolving a growing dispute over 